top and meet the fashions. Everybody say hello. There's Port and Ben with Andy and Barbara with little Lisa too. With a first galore, with a terrible fall. Just you wait and see. It's the fashions. It's the fashions. Hello everybody, and welcome to the ninth episode of the sixth series of the Bear Sons. And today, viewers, now, me and my family are going to be having our own game night. Ooh, well that's good. Uh, what game are you going to play with your family, by the way? Well, I believe it'll be frustration, which is like this. Oh, frustration? Ooh, good for you, Andy. So... Where are you going to put that um, board game mat then? Uh, I believe I'm going to put it on the floor. Oh, good for you, Andy. Right, get yourself ready then. Uh, can I help you? Uh, can I help you to do anything? Right, you can help me set up a game for a start. Oh, alright. Anyway, uh, why don't I set up the game? And you can tell that to your family. Oh, all right. Right, there you go, Drivers. Thanks, Andy, and I will get that all set up for you. Thank you. Well, sit a minute first whilst I have a little chat with my family. Well, I suppose I better get that started right away. <laughs> All right, then, family. Now, listen up now, because this is important. Because tonight, she did get that we're going to have our very own game night tonight. We're going to play Frustration. Ooh, Frustration. Ooh. Uh, hang on. Uh, was that the one that um, where you have to get all four pieces of um, like sausage fingers for a start? Uh, sort of, boss. Sort of. And I certainly don't mean sausage fingers, I meant the game pieces. Oh, I see. Uh, alright then, Dad, so, um, do you put them only in four pieces at home? Uh, yes, son. And I'm sure you'll find out, because the Barrett is already setting it up for us. Ooh, good for him, then. Uh, are you looking forward to fish, Ben? Uh, yeah, I'm looking forward to fish, Dad. Mm, I've never played frustration before. Have you, Ron? Uh, no, I haven't played it either, so you and I are the same, bro. About it. Oh, Dad, um, are you going to explain about the rules? Uh, yes, and I do know one rule, and that is no cheating, Bort! Ah, uh, don't you worry, Dad, I'm not going to cheat. Ah, good. <laughs> but I will. What did you say, son? Nothing, Dad. Good. Now, promise me one thing, son. No cheating. I won't. I promise. Good. Good boy, Bort. Now, let's go and play the game now, shall we? Yeah, good idea, Dad. And, uh, Dad, uh, how many players are, are we going to play? Well, see, you it's only me, Barbara, uh, that's your mum, you, and Ben, obviously. So that's enough for four. Yay! It's a family game night, as you said. Uh, yep. Right, come on, everybody. Let's go play. Woohoo! Okay, I think we're coming. See you with it, everybody. Yeah, say with me. Oh, and say to my little bro here. Me. Ah, but first. This. What? But stop getting your own clothes to become And stop playing frustration. <laughs> Bordy boy. Ow. All right, everybody. Now, don't worry. I've already got the board game all set up now. Yep, and I've done them in all four different colours so that Andy can choose the colours first. Alright then, Andy, so what colour are you going to choose? Well, basically, I'm going to choose this one here, because it's got an angry face in it. Mm, I wish I'd do that to Bort all the time. Especially when I have to show Bort! Like that. Oh, yeah, I see what you mean. Well, uh, you're not going to cheat, are you? No, I'll, and I've already told Bort not to cheat. Oh, good. Yeah, that means you're a good father. Yep. Alright then, Barbara, you're next. Okay, I'm Alright, Barbara, uh, which colour are you going to choose? Uh, well, I'd probably go for yellow, because yellow's my favourite colour. Ah, uh, good choice, then, Barbara. 
Alright, Bot, your turn. Alright, Dad. Alright, Bot, uh, which colour are you going to choose? Uh, I'm going to choose the orange one. Yeah, because that's the same colour as my buddy. <laughs> Alright, Ben, it looks like you've got blue, so because that's the colour of your jumper. Okay, Dad, thank you. Woo! Right then, family, are you all ready to play? Yeah, we're ready to play, Abby. Yeah, we're ready, Dad. Yeah, me too. Well, hopefully I'll be ready for cheating. Ah, what? Stick to your promise, boy. All right, all right. Snow cheating. Okay. Uh, who's going to have a go first, that, by the way? Well, she did that. that I got it all shut up with the director shelf. I'm going to have a go first. Okay. Uh, right, now, let's see if I can do the dial. Right, just bear with me. Uh, <coughs> there we go. Now, let's see where it lands. Oh, two. Uh, all right then, everybody. Now, this was my first turn, actually. Now, if you can't get onto a six, that means that you won't be able to move until you get a six. Oh, I see. Hmm, this is a bit tricky. Uh, don't you worry, son. This is just one rule I have to tell you. Oh, uh, all right. Uh, whose turn is it next anyway, Dad? Well, I believe it's your turn next, Bot. Okay. Hmm. <laughs> well, hopefully I will chat, Bot. I know, I know. No cheating. Right, here we go. E. Right, let's see what we're doing. Oh, two. Well, oh, that's a bit of bad luck. Right, your turn, Ben. Okay, okay. Right, here we go. Spinning. Ugh. Let's have a look. Oh, it's number four. You're okay, Ben. Okay, Ben. E. Two. Your turn again, Andy. All right, uh, Barbara. Okay, right, here we go. Ugh. Oh, well, that's not very good. I'll try again. Ugh. That's better. Hmm. Ah, number four. Yeah, this is frustrating. So I guess that's why this game is called Frustration. Yeah, because I am frustrated a little bit. Yeah, but I better stay away from the game. Right, your turn, Bot. Okay. But <laughs> well, I will cheat that Bot. <sighs> all right, all right. Now, let's see where it lands. Hmm. Oh, uh, what's this? Uh, Dryzus, uh, where is this landed on? Uh, if I have a look, Footport. Well, you've nearly landed between the 1 and the 6, so... So, yep, you must be landing on the 6. <gasps> Yay! I get to be the game piece! <laughs> Alright, Dad, uh, so how do you put a game piece, you know, on there? Uh, do you have to put it on there? Uh, yes, sir. It is. Oh, and I see you've got a six. Well done, boy. And I'm glad you're not cheating. Yeah, thanks, Dad. Okay, uh, I think it's here would be a good one. Your turn, Ben. Okay. <laughs> okay, let's have a look. Let's see where it lands. Three. Ha! Well, then, Ben. It looks like you are rubbish at it. What the What no rubbish? What? What are you teasing at him for? Ah, uh, well, you see, Dad, well, he was trying to get onto the six as much as I am. Because <laughs> I had to tease. Oh, person! That is not nice, so play nicely, or else! Or else what, Dad? You're just gonna blow a raspberry at me? No, son, I'm not gonna bother. <laughs> but you will be grounded if you don't. Alright, alright. I'll behave. Sorry, Ben. That's alright. Just don't do it again. I won't. Your turn, Mum. Okay. Ooh, let's see where it lands. Uh, oh, I want to see that bit move. Can you move that back? Oh, yeah, with pleasure. All right, Barbara. Yeah, I think it was landing on the six, so you get to move again, please. Oh, okay. Fair enough. Um, oh, I think, I think I'll go for this one. Better. Your turn, Andy. Oh, okay, Barbara. Ooh, and I see you've landed on six. Well done, Barbara. Yeah, well done, Mum. Yeah, it looks like you and I are the same now. Yeah, no offense to you, Ben. I'll take a board. Okay, my turn. Here we go. Okay, let's see where the lander number is. Oh, so that's a, between a five and a four. Hmm, that means I can't have a go. Your turn, but oh, of course, if you move this game piece a few minutes times, 
You will might win for sure. Uh, yay! And for once, I'm not even cheating. Yeah, I broke off for not cheating either. Yeah, okay. Right, my turn. Yeah. Ooh. Now let's see where it lands. Hmm. Ah, now if I move back, yeah, because I think it keeps moving itself. Ah, three. Hmm. Okay, let's have a look. One, two, three. Ah, so I see, but I have landed in the land of Quidibo. And I see that move three more space spaces. Okay, I can do that. What? Uh, yes, Dad. Uh, what? You are not supposed to move three more space. At first, no such thing as a Quidibo. You need to tell me what a Quidibo is. Okay, all right, Dad. I'll tell you. Hmm, Quidibo. Quidibo. Quidibo is the biggest, smelliest, ugliest thing. It was just a bit like you, Dad. You're a smelly old Quidibo. Oh no, I had a very bad tempered one. Why, you little. Ah, 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 Dad! Why you stop angling me? Stop angling me! Dad! Get off! Well, are you gonna behave whilst we're playing the game? Well, well, if you're gonna bother me, no. Uh, yes, yes, okay, okay. Oh, sorry. Ah! Oh. That was such a snake. Oh! Dad! Slip, slip, and get! Don't you call me again? Right. Shut up and get off with you! Ah! Hey! Ah! Oh, me! You're a braiding tool, but nearly shaking! You promised me you wouldn't! Sorry, and I was only joking on a quidgy bow. That's alright, Shad. Right, come back here and play the game properly! Uh, after it's our turn. Oh, alright. Your turn, Ben. Okay, Dad! Oh, the sheep board has moved three pieces. Okay. Ah! Right, here we go. Um, now let's see what it says. Oh, I want to see if I've landed on the tomb. Your turn, Mom. I'm Jason Bentley. Now let's see where it lands. Oh, four. Mm, very bad. Oh, oh yeah. I forgot. Bring it. One, two, three, and four. How do I do, Andy? Well, you've gone very well, Barbara. Yeah, I can't believe you've moved four pieces. Uh, sorry, four spaces, I meant. Yeah, well done, Barbara. And I think you'd have a kiss if you do win. Oh, thank you, Andy. Your turn. All right, Barbara. Okay. Uh, it's all right. I'll put that back. Thank you. Right, here we go. Ugh. Now, let's see where it lands. Ooh, three. Oh. All right, boy, you can come back up now. It's your turn. Oh, all right. Uh, it's all right, Ernie. I'll, I'll get it. Uh, are you all right, though, boy? I'm all right, though. Just sorry about that. Yeah, it's only because I had to call him a quickie bow. <laughs> quickie bow? What? Is it the biggest, smelliest, ugliest day of all? Yes. Oh, all right. Well, carry on, then. Oh, and it's your turn, by the way. All right. Yeah. Oops. Oh dear, I didn't mean to push the spinner. Never mind, I'll just have to do it like this. Ah. Hmm. I'll just try again. Ah. Oh. Uh, it's alright, boy. Uh, do you want me to do the spinner for you from now on? Yes, please. In case I cheat. Oh, alright then. Here we go, then. Uh. Oh. Okay, let's see where it lands. Well then, boy, you flooded on the six again! Yay! Oh, I can't believe I'm winning so far! <laughs> done it, Dad! At this time I didn't cheat! Oh, well done, Shad! Ooh, good job! Your turn, Ben! Okay, Dad! Right, here we go! Boo! Now, let's see where it lands! Oh, what? Your turn, Bob! Mom! Okay, Ben! <laughs> Oh, uh, bro, uh, I think you've accidentally kicked it. I'll do that spin for you, just like I did the board. Okay. Oh, so I see you've landed on the five. Ooh, I'm so lucky. Okay. One, two, three, four, five. How did I do, Andy? 
Wow, you've done very well, Barbara. Yeah, well done. Right, my turn. Right, here we go. Right, let's get how we should do it. Oh, uh, and I seem to kick, kick her off again. Uh, don't worry, Eddie, I'll put it back. And I think you've landed on a five, let's just say. Alright, your time for... Okay. Right, here we go. Ugh. Uh, it's alright, but I'll do this bit of us, I said. Thank you. Right, here we go. Let's see where it lands. Three. Okay, boy, you get to pick which one. Uh, I'll probably move this one. One, two, three. Oh, yeah, I remember now. No cheat. All right, Ben, your turn. Okay, good. I'm coming. Right, let's spin the barrel. Woo! Let's see what we're doing. Oh, so I see it go to one. Mm, not much luck for me, I'm afraid. Your turn, Bob. Okay, Ben. Right, here you go, Barbara. I've done it for you. Thank you. Ooh, ooh. Ooh, I get to be him again. Uh, Andy, can you help me? Oh, oh, yes, probably, Barbara. I I'll do anything for my wife. Okay. One, uh, two, three, and four. Ooh, and I see the yellow bitch waving at the orange. And I think your mum said, hello, boy. Oh, hello, mum. Hello, buddy boy. All right, then, Barbara. Right, my turn. Uh, Dietus, can you help us with the spending now? Only... We've just got a lot very good with Porsche. Oh, uh, that's fine then, Andy. I'll do a spinner for you. Well, you've got a four, so you're not very lucky now. Alright, your time, Bort. Alright. There you go, Bort. Thank you. Ooh, number two. Well, I think I'll just move this bit this time. One. Two. That's it. Right, and I'll help you with your turn at that, yeah, because I just decided that I should be doing the spinning for you all. Thank you. Uh, what number did you help me land on? Uh, number two. Oh, that's fine. Your turn, Mum. Okay. Right, and here we go once more. All right, let's see. Well, Papa, you moved. You've landed on the three. Well, I'll help you. One, two, three. Uh-oh. Uh -oh. Well, that could be one thing. Uh, I've just got to look at the instructions, Andy, just to tell you, for me to tell you. Uh, all right. Now, anyway, uh, now what does it say at the back? Um, let me see. Uh, if you land on a space a porcupine by another player's characters, please, which was the one at the yellow bit right now, um, I'm afraid that you'll have to send it back to their waiting bay, and the space is yours, including the start space. Oh, well everybody, uh, did I also forget to mention that we, that uh, every time for when, um, that when the, um, yellow goes to be orange, and I'm sorry, but you'll have to send all you sent that piece back to the start there. <gasps> what? Oh, but that's no fair, yeah. I'm sorry I'm not moving it. What? You will move that orange space back to your space, Scott. Start space, where are you flying on now? <laughs> oh, yeah, and who's going to make me? You've yeah, been a smelly old creaky! Smelly old creaky! How dare you, Bort! I am not a creaky boat! You either move it, or we will won't, or we will never play this game ever again! How about no? Or how about if I strangle you a bit more? Oh, so, do I really have to move it back to the starting space? Yes, and uh, besides, Bort, look, see? That piece is still there, so you can still move it. Oh, then what am I going to do to get another six if I were to get that one back? Well, you have to roll a six. All right, all right, I'll move him. Well then, Mum, hmm, yeah, all right, I'll just move him. There you go, Mum, that space is yours. Oh, thank you, Bob. Oh, you're welcome, Mum. Not really. What did you say, Bob? Nothing, Mum. Good. All right. Well, I better get back to the spot. Uh, oh. You're tired, Ben. Okay. Right, and I'll help you with the spin up this time, Ben. Thank you. Well, then, Ben, it looks like you've landed on a free. Yeah, you're not having much luck here, are you? No. I don't 
a bit of free girl frustration. Ah, Ben, it's all right. This is a game we're talking about. You need to be positive, boy. Well, I don't know that. Yeah, but Ben, to achieve this game, you need to show your enthusiasm, boy. Yeah, but Dad, I'm going to be a bit rubbish. Don't be. Well, don't, Sam, don't be like that, Ben. This is just a game, you know. Oh, OK. Your turn, Mum. OK. Right, I'll be the spinner this time, Barbara. OK. OK. OK, let's see what we're doing. Well, at least you've landed on the free. All right, I'll help you move it. Thank you. One, two, three. Uh-oh. Uh, Eddie, I think the yellow bit is done there. Oh, dear. Well, boy, it looks like you'll have to send that orange piece back. Oh, what? A devil one? Oh, I surely have no pudding, Cappy. Oh, because I don't buy clothes. What? You put that What? But that, but I still need one What? 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 Will you stop saying my name? Why you? What? Why do you have to say something like that? Well, that's what you get for telling me to move the orange piece. Well, I'm telling I'm not moving it. Oh, come on, Bork. This is such a... Well, say sorry. Oh, oh, I don't like Bork. Oh, sorry. Right, you, Dad, go into the pit, you smelly, cringy boat. Oh, Bork. Well, goodbye, Dad. And this time, I'm going to cheat. After those two had to. But you better not cheat. Oh, yes, I will. No, you won't. Yes, I will. <laughs> when you least expect it. All right, all right. Here we go again. Here you go, Mum. Yeah, I just had to move my space back to their starting space. Oh, okay, Bort. Yeah, thank you again. You're welcome. It looks like my mum's has been a, such a greedy old pig. <laughs> over this game. Uh, Dieters, uh, what are we going to do? I mean, Bort can't stop him. I'm too weak. Oh, Bandy, you're not a weak person. You're just a strong bear. Oh, yeah. I've forgotten about him, but but, but I'll be a bad father to him. Uh, Andy, it's now or never. All right, well, I think we need someone to help him calm down. Uh, get Lisa for a start. Oh, all right. Uh, uh, hang on, uh, which Simpson carriage do you want me to get? Lisa or Maggie? Uh, well, probably get Maggie, because I know Maggie loves him. Oh, that sounds like a good idea. <coughs> well, say it a minute, Theos. <coughs> oh, say with me. I can't believe Bart has thrown a tantrum over a guy. Oh, hey, Lisa, uh, you're an arrogant. Oh, well, could you see up, please? Uh, I'm afraid that a bot is throwing a tantrum over a game. <gasps> oh, my God. And it's up, what's going on over there? Uh, yes, have a look. <gasps> oh, dear. Yeah, but that's why uh, uh, Andy uh, wants me to go and get Maggie. Oh, and you, of course. Oh, okay. Right, come on, Maggie. I think we, 
sweet heart, sweet boat, my teacher, to help him calm down. Come here, girl. Yeah, she's coming, please. Here I am. Oh, good, good to have you here. Come on, it's the Citizen Girls to the rescue. Oh, here we are, Randy. Oh, for well, thank goodness you two are here. I'm afraid Bort is throwing a tantrum over again. Stop him! Oh, okay. Don't you worry. We're both here. Okay, Buggy. Calm it down. Well, the fish don't mean yes, ma'am. Okay. Thank you, Maggie. Sorry about my angry issue there. You see, I'm not very good on frustration. I was a bit, um, angry and confused. And my dad, however, had to ask me to move the game space again. Mm. I know, Maggie. Oh, yeah, I don't like frustration. Yeah, because it makes me feel frustrated. Oh, I suppose I should go to anger management class, shouldn't I? Uh, what's she say? Well, I think she's asking you. Would you like a hug? Well, seeing as I am very upset right now. Yeah, okay. Go on, then. Ah, oh, thank you, Maggie. Ah, oh, I love it when you give me hugs. Oh, yeah, I guess I'm not very good on frustration. Right, it's okay, Andy. Right, Maggie's got him now. And I'm afraid that, that I'm afraid the board has ruined the game. Oh, great. Now we will never know who's going to be the winner-ish. Well, uh, I expect that you'll just have to start all over again. Yeah, I'm afraid so. Uh, do I just, uh, because I don't want to be too angry at Bort, just because I'm not a very good father to him, can you tell him off for me? Oh, yeah, with pleasure. <laughs> well, then, Bort, now, how could you have ruined the game for everyone? I mean, now look at that. The game pieces are all ruined. Oh no, oh, why have I done to see that? Yeah, that's what you get. You should be ashamed of yourself, young man. Oh, Andy, uh, uh, how many um weeks do I normally ground him? Well, tell him that he's grounded for at least a week. Oh, okay. But uh, your dad said that you're grounded for a week. Oh, I'm going to play through this game. Yes, I'm afraid so, boy. Now, now, as for the time being, go to bed, body boy. <laughs> oh, okay, all right. Now, yeah, see this I'm grounded. I've had enough of this. Uh. Are you all right there, Andy? I'm all right, that does just... Oh, and don't worry about my wife. Yeah, she's obviously got her bum in me face. Ugh. Are you okay too, Barbara? Yeah, I'm all right, Andy. Ugh. Did you get the doctors to help us? Oh, yeah, sure thing. That uh, writers, can you get us? No, don't worry, uh, Dick. I'm coming. Hold on. All right, you two. Uh, uh, looks like you're in a bright mess. Don't worry, I'll help you up first, Barbara. Oh, thank you. Are you okay? I'm all right. Thank you. Wait, well, I better get back to frustration. <laughs> all right. Are you okay, Andy? I'm all right. Oh. What has fried the game for us? Oh, I don't know why he has to do that. Well, apparently he doesn't like frustration anymore because you were asking him to move the game spaces back to the starting space. Oh, oh yeah, I suppose I have been a bit firm. I've done it again. Oh, oh don't worry, Andy. It's a good thing you're not telling him off. 
I mean, I know you're only doing a good deed. I know you are, and I know you. Alright, well, I think we're just gonna have to play the game without him. Yeah, that sounds fine. And besides, we need to tidy up a bit first. Okay. Oh, oh dear. Why does what have to be like that? Uh, don't we worry, everybody. Now, we got a replacement player instead. Now, we got Leisure and Maggie with us, so we can all play a game together. Hey, uh, uh, share back of the game board, everybody. See ya. End of part one. Mm. Alright then, you two. Right, so she just got board's gone now. So, do you two want to play Frustration? Um, no, please, Andy. Oh, I don't, I don't think Maggie wants to play. So, I think she could be with Ben. Oh, and is you alright? Uh, I I'll have a check. Uh, ben? Uh, are you okay? Are you crying? Well, I just saw Bob wreck the game. Oh, Dad. I can't believe Bob just wreck the game. Oh, uh, it's alright, Ben. It's okay, my dear, my dear son. There's no need to cry. It's alright. Don't worry about your big brother. I think the director has already grounded him for a week. Oh, oh, Dad. How could Bob be mean to us? I suspect he ruined the game, board. It's okay, son. It's alright. Shh. No need to cry. There, there, son. There, there, dear. Look, I'm here for you. And, uh, don't worry about Lisa. She's here now. So that you and Maggie... Oh, and I don't think Maggie wants to play frustration because I don't think he's normally very good at that board game. Uh, are you, Lisa? Uh, no, Andy. Oh, I see board Ben's crying. Uh, yeah, I'm afraid so, at least. Because, you see, I think Ben has just saw board ruining a game. So, give him a little stroke. Okay. Oh, it's okay, Benny. It's okay. Your sweetie boy's here. Don't worry about Bort. Yeah, I just heard that he's grounded. Is that right, Daddy? Yeah, that's right, Lisa. Of course it is. Yeah, because that's the reason why we had to ground him. Yeah, because he's not very good on frustration. So anyway, Lisa, um, would you and Maggie like to play frustration? Well, um, I'll ask Maggie. Uh, Maggie, do you want to play frustration? <laughs> Yeah, I guess that means yes, Andy, but you have to help her. Oh, okay. I'll help her to do the um, spinning. Thank you, Andy. You're welcome. Yes, okay, Benny. You can be with me. Okay. Oh, it's okay, Benny. Shh. Lisa's here. Don't worry. Maggie's going to join us because you and I will be playing frustration. How does that sound? Well, I don't know if I want to play my game, I'll be bored wrecked. Don't worry, we're going to start off nice and fresh. Yeah, as much as fruit and veg, hmm, which you kids should all eat. At least five a day. It's okay, Benny. Shh. Lisa's here. So, if you stop crying, Benny, I'll give you a little kiss. Okay. Oh. Yeah, I'm okay. Okay, fish. I stopped. I'm your big boy. Thank you, Lish. So, do you want to play a game with me? Yeah, fish. Go on. You can be on the yellow side, and the baggy. You can be the blue because you got your onesies. <laughs> Okay, but I think we'll do this bit together. Okay. Oh. Ah, look at that. It looks like that Lisa and Ben are going to play nicely together. Yeah, rather than bored. <sighs> well, Ben, are, are you okay now, son? I'm okay now, Dad. Sorry if I cried. Yeah, because it was a bit of an upsetting experience for me. Don't you worry, son. Don't worry about bored. He's already crowded. Uh, I'm not going to have a word with him, but I'm sure I'll have a word with him later. Okay. Alright. Well, I thought, hmm, I don't think that uh, Ben wants to play with you anymore, because you are grounded, as I've, as I've already told you. Yeah, yeah, I know, Dad. 
Uh, just shut up, you stupid old monkey. What? You're granted for two weeks. Oh, well, that dandy's such a big... Hey, three weeks? Well, my dad's such a big... Four weeks? Yeah, but five weeks? But six weeks? Will you be quiet, Dad? Seven weeks? Now go to bed, because you're grounded. For ten weeks? Alright, yeah, don't worry. I've... Oh, and uh, Barbara, I've already told him off this time. Oh, good job, buddy. What, not too harsh on him, I know. Uh, I'm afraid I have to be a bit firm with him. Oh, okay. Right, I think we'll just continue playing without him. Yeah, good. And this time, I think I'll pick orange this time. Yes, I'm taking Bot's place. Good for you, Auntie. And I'm going to be the green. Alright, and so, the game is back on without Bot this time. Alright then, everybody. Right, don't worry about Bot. I think I've Bot has gone to his room now, and he's now grounded for 10 weeks as extended for Mandy. Yeah, no offence to you, Andy. Oh, uh, not take a direct dish. Yeah, I don't think Bort likes frustration anymore. Yeah, obviously, he's very bad at play. Alright, Barbara, uh, who's going to have a go first this time? I mean, there's no Bort to have it a go this time. Well, I think we can then please uh, take a turn first. Oh, okay. Well, Lisa, would you do me on honest of having to go first? Oh, sure thing, I'm Andy. Okay, here we go. Ah! What's the word? Ooh, number five. Oh. Your turn, Barbara. Okay. Right, and I'll help you for the toss, just like we did before. There we go. Hmm. Well, obviously, you've landed between a five and a four. Oh, that's all right. I'm not fast. Your turn, Andy. Okay. Right, and I'll help you for the toss this time. There you go, Barbara. Thank you. Ooh. Uh, what number did you did it land on? Well, it landed on the one. Oh, that's okay. Uh, uh, Dyson, I don't think Maggie can help do that start spinning. Can you help him? Can you help her? Oh, yeah, sure thing, Andy. Okay, but Maggie, I'm going to help you for the spinners. There we are. Oh, two. Well, Maggie, it looks like your turn is not ready now. Oh, well, uh, why don't you relax for a bit? Yeah. Okay. All right, uh, Lisa or Ben, uh, your turn. I'll let you go have a go again. Okay, Benny. Mm. Well, obviously we can't we'll do it. Your turn, Barbara. Okay. Uh, what number did it land it on? Uh, well, I believe that landed on the wall. Oh, okay. Your turn, Andy. Okay. Right, and here we go with the dust spinner again. Mm. Oh, hang on a Right, let's see where it lands. Oh, four. Right, uh, I'll have you for spinner, Maggie, because it's your turn. Okay. Right, let's see. Well, I hope Maggie can get on number six. Oh. Obviously, it's it's not your day, is it? Don't you worry. All right, Lisa, your turn. Okay. Hmm. Ooh, five. Your turn, Barbara. Right, and it's my turn to help Barbara do the spinning. Right, here we go. Right, let's see where it lands. <gasps> wow, that was nearly onto the six then. Uh, I'll tell you what, Barbara, let's just say that you got a six. Whoopee! I get to move my game piece. Yee. How did I do? Well, you've done very well, Barbara. See? That's why, that's why the reason the bullshit just should have played nicely in the first place. Ah, let's not talk about board. Let's just play the game properly. Okay, Barbara. Right, your turn, Eddie, and I'll help with the spinner. I you. So, let's see what it... Oh, well, you're not very lucky. Oh, don't you worry. I'm not worried. Right, let's go. Hmm. Well, let's see what it learns. Oh, three. Well, I think Maggie's done it on three. Mm. All right, Lisa, it's your bed's turn. Okay. Oh, I bet you're done. I don't worry. Sport is gone. Okay, Leash. Alright, here we go. Ah! Mm. I guess we're all both going to lose. Oh. Oh, no. It looks like Ben started to cry again. Uh, is it that the fact that I cheated? No, nothing like that. I'm just never going to win. Oh, don't you worry, Ben. 
be so feared to support you, aren't you, Lise? Yeah, yeah. Oh, it's okay, Benny. I'm sure you will win with me. Yeah. You know what? I don't think I like frustration anymore. Why don't you take over from me? Yeah, I'm very tired. Uh, how about a cuddle then? Okay. Oh, it's okay, Penny. Yeah, I know you're very tired. Uh, do you want me to take you to bed? Um, I think I'll go to bed myself. Yeah, but you can take over my turn if you want to. I'm a bit tired. Good night, my lovely lady. Good night, Penny. You too. I will. All right, Dad. Yeah, I think I'm going to go off to bed. Yeah, because I'm a bit tired after walk ruined the game. Night, night, Dad. Yeah, night, night, Sean. Well, it looks like Ben has really has put off the game now. I don't think he'll play frustration ever again. Uh, but luckily, Barbara is winning. Uh, aren't you, Barbara? Yeah, yeah, Bundy. Oh, I'm so lucky. Yeah, me too. Uh, Dryter, uh, can we skip to the ones that where Barbara wins? Oh, uh, yeah, sure thing. See you in a minute. A few hours later. Alright then, Andy. Right. I think that Barbara has moved all four pieces in their homes. So that means Barbara has won! Ooh, well done, Barbara. Oh, thank you, Randy. Oh, can I have a gift from you? Yeah, come here, girl. Okay, thank you. Here you go. Oh, Randy, aren't you proud of me? Yeah, of course I am, Barbara. Yeah, come here. Come here, you. Okay. No, he's... <laughs> <laughs> Ooh, sounds like someone's blushing for a big crunchy boat monkey. I am not a crunchy boat monkey. Cut it out, you. Oh. And oh. All right, everybody. Now, seeing enough that everyone's had enough of frustration because of bored, we'll just let them say goodbye. So we're going to start with Andy first. All right, Andy, you can say goodbye now. All right. Bye-bye, everybody. See you next time. Goodbye. Oh, and I've had enough of um, this game anyway. Goodbye. And bye bye to me, Barbara, the winner. Neat. And bye bye to me, little Lisa. Come on, Peggy. It's time for us to go to bed. Come here, girl. <laughs> and Peggy say bye bye, everybody. Bye bye. Yuck. Oh, uh, well, could you say it up there? Because I heard that um, you and Bot are going to watch a cartoon about a bear. Oh, a cartoon about bear? Uh, did you hear that, Bot? Uh, no. What? I believe that we are going to be watching a cartoon, and I believe it's something to do with the perspective bear. Yay! A cartoon about a bear! Ooh, now that's my type. Yeah, me too, Bot. Now let's see what's on TV first of all. Okay. Right, over to the TV we go. <whistles> At so it begins. Head over heels here on one in ten minutes marks Father's Day by talking to Norman Fowler about his decision to give up his position as Secretary of State for Employment to spend more time with his children. Plus there's a look at the Cinderella complex and the dangers for women travelling alone on public transport. Before that, we're gilding the lily with the prospecting bear. Ooh, here we go, Ben Ben. The cartoon called The Prospecting Bear. Yay! Oh, I'm going to enjoy this. Yeah, me too. Oh, yeah, that should help me cheer up about the uh, frustration game. Oh, uh, Ben? Yeah? 
uh, about the things I did wrong with that, um, board game, I think I'll take it all back. Oh, I forgive you for the bad board. But I'm sorry if I got upset. I was a bit upset. We were confused about you. Oh, that's alright. Yeah, I think it was all my fault, really. You see, Ben, I don't like frustration because my dad, however, had to force me to move the game spaces back to their starting spaces. It's a bit sad for me. Ah, yeah, I know. Hmm. Yeah, but it's a good thing we've got a cartoon to watch. Yeah, that'll be about it. Hmm, that'll be about something. Uh, Digest, what's the name of that cartoon bear? Uh, I believe it's called Barney Bear. Barney Bear? Hmm, that sounds good. Uh, can you just let the viewers have a look at the quick cartoon? Oh, yeah, sure thing. Oh, a cute little donkey. Oh, this is exhausting. Ew, look at that, Ben. It's a little donkey. For the difference. Ew, that sounds good. But I see you've got all this heavy gear. <laughs> yeah, I agree with you, that man. Oh dear, it looks like he's got it. Forgot about the bag of dynamite or something. I want to see that body <laughs> not looking impressed. Ew, right up nearly the bottom. <laughs> Well, isn't that a great cartoon so far? Yeah, of course it's a great cartoon. Woo! For a moment, I thought it was going to kick it right in the butt. <laughs> ah, but at least it goes back to a big bag of dynamite. <laughs> well, that's a good one. <laughs> well, Cinema Fears probably gets some <laughs> funny bits, and just like Itchy and Scratchy. I thought we all think Bonnie Bear has found something. Ooh, let's have a look. Ooh, what's this? Gold? 14 carrots? Ha 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 Ooh, gold! I want the gold! I want the gold! You're a person! You're such a nuisance, you are! I am not! Yes, you are! Go back to your spot! Ow! Ow! Well, Beth, did you see that there's a lot of gold in that case? Uh, yes, I thought so. A poor bearship? You're supposed to be cheering up. Oh, yeah, I forgot. Ooh, Beth is shaking wildly. Ha 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 that's a good one, Bort. Now, oh, Ben, Ben, um, did you see there's a donkey? Um, just looking inside the cave. Ah, uh, yes, I'm sure. Mm, what's he up to? Well, I believe he was looking for gold. And I think Barney Bear wants him to be out of the way. Oh, I see. Ooh, what's the donkey looking at? Well, I believe he was looking at a box of diamonds, thinking that looks like carrots. Oh dear, looks like Bonnie Bear has got the pickaxe stuck to rock! <laughs> oh, no, it's looking all in front! Well, that is a good one, Bob. I know, Ben. This is hilarious! He's such a shameel! <laughs> Now he wants to get me back to get out of the box! <laughs> well, he's not having much luck, is he, Ben? Oh, uh, no, Bort. I agree. <laughs> oh, oh, I heard something. Ooh, sounds like a little donkey eating up the, uh, what are those, um, strange things called? Well, they're called dynamite. Dynamite? Uh, uh, does the donkey form but it looks like carrot? Uh, yes. Oh, well, I certainly wouldn't want to eat dynamite. Yuck! But I certainly wouldn't mind eating carrots. Well, except other veg. Of course. Uh, guys, just one thing. Do carrots help you see in the dark? Uh, yeah, of course it does. But I think some people are wrong. Well, I think some people are wrong. No, they're wrong. Oh dear, looks like he's got himself full burn! <laughs> well, he's not having much luck, is he? <gasps> well, that could be one thing! He actually knocked the man into the box! 
Uh, does he notice that? Well, if he picks up a box, yeah, he does notice. Boom! Oh dear! Boom! Yeah. Oh dear! No, it looks like body bags got end up in a freaking thing. Ha! <laughs> yeah, yeah. I guess that's why it's called a cartoon. And it's called the. Uh oh! I think it's called me. Ah, good one, buddy. Yeah, good job, buddy. Look at all. Close, isn't it? Yeah, of course it was very close, Bob. Hmm. Yeah, I love this car too. What about you, Bob? Yeah, I love this car too. Hmm. My joke. Um, where was that recorded or something? A photo? Uh, yeah. Um, the thought there about this. Uh, well, I believe it must be coming from an old recorded tape, and I think it'll be coming from this. Oh, so what's this one? Can you have a look? Oh, uh, yeah, sure. Uh, I believe it was called My Fair Lady. Ooh, let's have a look. Yeah, skip it, board. All right. Oh, so that cartoon comes from that tape. Oh, I see. Ooh, and a bit music will love this film. I suppose it's a cartoon. Well, but I believe it was called My Fair Lady. Uh, oh, but that uh, felt like a kid out of a kid out of a place. What? Sorry, Ben. That's okay. Just don't do it again. Do, do what again? What? Is it this? <laughs> oh. Yes, but like that. Oh. Never mind. I think we're enjoying the cartoon. That's the main thing. Yeah, sorry about it. Mm. Right, Dyson, can you just have a quick look at the cartoon close up for a start? Yeah, sure. Oh, there we are. Uh oh. Uh, Ben? Yeah? I believe Barney Bear's gonna put all his dynamite stuff in the cave so that he can try and get the gold out. Oh, oh dear. That won't be any good, would it? Oh, uh, no. Uh, do you want to look away, Ben? Uh, no, I think I'll be good. Oh, Alright. Oh dear, looks like the donkey's been exploding by himself. Yeah, but only please you have a look at this bit, just for a little bit. Oh no! Wow! What a boo! Yeah, I agree. What a boo! Oh dear, looks like Barney and his donkey. <laughs> A stuck stuck on a raft. Uh, don't you mean the, about what's left of a cliff? Uh, yes. Yeah, I knew that. All right, then you take that. You end up a car too now, so you two can go and do what you want to do now. Okay. All right. All right, then, Dytus. Uh, I'm just going to go straight back to bed. Yeah, because I think my dad wants me to stay there. Oh, that's all right, then. Yeah, I'll be besides. This is just for the epilogue, you know. Oh, it's for the epilogue, is it? Ooh, good choice. Well, I better get back to my room. Ah, you know what my dad's like. Yeah, bye bye, Ben. Oh, and once again, sorry if I've made you upset. That's okay. Should we have a hug before we go? Uh, yeah, go on then. Oh, I love you, Bob. I love you too, bro. Yeah, and I'm also sorry if I got you upset. Oh, it's okay. Don't keep saying sorry. I forgive you for once. Now, go back to your room before your dad finds out. Okay. Well, bye-bye, everybody. See you next time. Goodbye. Well, it's up to me now. Hmm, I wonder what's the next programme. Well, I believe the next programme is going to be called Head Over Heels. Um, so, do you want me to leave you to it, then? Yeah, please. Okay. Well, you are, I'll just leave you with a call new thing, then. Okay. And you can have a look at this if you want to. Well, you try to tell me that you've worked with me up at this ungodly hour on the Sunday uh, actually, morning. Actually, I'll just fast forward so we can get onto the program straight away. Oh, and I see this black outer too. I love black outers. He was born a boy. If I commit a crime, I can get sent to a man's prison. Then at 11.30, Scooby-Doo will be from the Ooh, horsey. That's the one Lisa loves. But this is a new case version. On top four, this Sunday night. Oh, dear. Well, this is going to be a great show. Thank you. Now on one fresh off the presses, this week's edition of our new women's mag, Head Over Heels with Lucy Pilkington and Susan Ray.
Alright then, Ben. Well, I picked up a few of we seen the cool duty at the end and asked for a cartoon. Yeah, I'm glad. And I'm glad I enjoyed it. Oh, I'm gonna say goodbye then. Goodbye, everybody. See you next time. Bye bye. Oh, and you can have this too, guys. Just. <laughs> and the epilogue. We. Bye, everybody. That's all, folks. <laughs> Hello, everybody, and welcome to the sixth episode of the fifth series of the Bear Shuttle. And today, viewers, now, because we are all going to have a spiritual meeting. Oh, uh, yeah, because I think I've been watching Step Toad Son, the episode of it, on video last night, and I wondered if I could do the same. Well, let's go and see my family, shall we? <laughs> Come on, then. All right, all right, we're coming. Sheesh, that Andy person is such a bossy boot. Shut up, you! <laughs> Ouch! Alright then, family. Now, listen up now. Now, I've discovered that um, the spiritual meeting is a bit magical as I've seen one episode of Steptoe and Son from last night. Ooh! Uh, what, what sort of episode is it, Dad? Well, I believe it was called... Uh, hmm, I don't know what it's called. Well, I believe it's something to do, like, um... The Seance in a Wet Dragon Boneyard. Uh, something like that. Oh. Okay. Yeah, I think it's just a random episode. Oh, so, uh, Dad, one question. What is Step Toad's Son? Well, Step Toad's Son, uh, son well, obviously, um, it's like a comedy featuring Harold and Albert Step Toad. Ooh. Oh, hang on, uh, was that the one that when Albert Step Toad was being told by Harold that he was a dirty old man? Uh, yes, son, I believe it is. Oh, what? You don't think that you look like a dirty old man? <laughs> Shut up, man! What, bad son? I am not a dirty old man! Uh, how come your face is all dirty? My face is not dirty! Does my face look dirty to you? Uh, let's have a look. Uh, no. I suppose not. So, let me get this straight then, Dad. You're not a dirty old man, are you? No, I surely am not, but I'm going to strangle you. Stop strangling me, stop strangling me. Get back off me. Well, are you going to behave for us? We pretended to have a spiritual meeting. Uh, what do you think, everybody? Ah, uh, yes, yes, okay. All right, viewers, I don't bother after that. Uh, all right, all right, Daddy. Dad, get off. Sorry. Ow. <laughs> <laughs> Dad, what did you strangle me for? Well, why do you have to call me a dirty old man? I am not dirty, you know. Oh, all right, Dad. Yeah, but when you just said dirty old man, well, I just thought I meant you. Yeah, but I didn't mean me. Oh, all right, Dad. So uh, where are we going to have our spiritual meeting? I mean, I never heard of it before. Ah, well, spiritual meeting, son. Uh, it's like a sort of a thing that when we all gather around in a great big circle, just like a wheel, and then if you have to close your eyes and hold hands together at the same time, I would do this bit, and then if the any, if imaginary voices come up, you'll have to say hello. A plus board. There might be Grandpa Bess, who's still in heaven. Oh yes, Granddad Bess. Oh, I remember him. Uh, what about you, Ben? Yeah, I remember him too. Oh, I didn't realise we were going to have a spiritual meeting. Uh, so Dad, 
I heard that we're going to do a special meeting. Why? Ah, well, you see, son, well, I just, just saw one episode of it. Oh, and guess what Bob called me? Uh, what did he call you, Dad? Well, he called me a dirty old... Oh, dear. Hmm, that's not funny for you, is it, Dad? No, it's not, uh, Ben. Oh, and thank you for pointing that out. Uh, yes, it's a good thing that I have one sensible son who is sensible, and I know Bob isn't... Uh, Oi! Dad! Of course I am sensible! Yeah, uh, tell you what, if we want to do a spiritual meeting, <laughs> how about we do it over here? Oh, ow! Ow! Bob! <laughs> Got you. Uh, don't worry, Dad. I'm sure that uh, uh, me and the rest of my family will probably join you in a minute. So get yourself ready, Dad. Bussy boots. Oh, hey! Fuck! Why do I even bother listening to him? Alright. Well, I suppose I'd better get myself ready for the spiritual meeting. <sighs> Alright then, uh, everyone. So I think we might as well go and see uh, Dad now. Alright, I'm gonna go first, um, at lad, and, uh, you lease. Okay, bud. Okay. Okay, bud. Oh, and I also heard you call your dad a dirty old man. Why did you call him that? Ah, uh, well, you see, Mum, uh, has I thought it was a bit funny. But, but that doesn't mean your dad is a dirty old man. He's a clean man. Oh, uh, don't worry, Mum. Hey, I know that. Hm. No, you don't. Right, the only thing you can do is go to your dad. Ah! Uh, <laughs> Oh, nice of you to drop it, but I don't think... Uh, shut up, Dad! <sighs> Alright, Dad, well, I suppose I'll help you get ready, shall I? Well, you better do, son, because if you don't, you're grounded. Alright. Come on, everyone, let's go and... Come, come, Alright, you three, come and join me. Okay, I'm coming for Daddy. Me. Oh, and you can come too, Leish. Okay, Benny. See you later. with me. Alright then everybody, now, we're all gathered together in a great big circle, now, I don't worry about the empty left bit. Well, that's why uh, we don't need other people, just us. Oh, alright Dad. Okay Dad, Andy. Okay Dad. Okay, now, because I, this is a very magical thing to do, there won't be any talking involved whilst we do the spiritual meeting. Because if you do, then something might haunt your dreams for the rest of a life. Oh, I don't want that to happen. Okay, Dad, I I'll be quiet. Yeah, me too, Dad. Good. And don't worry, little lady. I I'm sure there's nothing scary about this bit. So, you're okay. Okay, Andy. Okay, now, allow me to begin. <coughs> right, and now to close my eyes. Geronimo! Mm -hmm. Geronimo, are you there? Oh uh, yes, uh, I still am. Now, as I heard that we got a certain grandpa who misses Ben lots. Oh yeah, and what about me? Uh, I think that a uh, grandpa person would be missing Ben and Bort. Oh, and I know that grandpa person hasn't seen Lisa yet, so I'm sure you will be surprised. Okay. Alright then. Jasmo, get Granddad Bear shirt. Okay, and here he is. Hello, everyone. I'm Grandpa Person. What? Is that my Grandpa Bear shirt? Is she mine? Oh, my goodness. Oh. Hello, Granddad Bear shirt. Oh. Oh. Hello, Grandson. Oh. House life down here! Very good, oh, thank you, the Grandpa. Oh, I missed you. Well, I missed you too, Grandson. And who's that lovely lady with you? Well, this is Lisa, because she's been with me ever since the shorts. Do you remember? Yes, I remember. Yeah, because Bort, however, is the most unsensible one, because he used to call me a grumpy granddad. Yeah, tell me about it, because we still have Bob with us. Well, Bob, go and say hello to him. Uh, well, I don't know, that Ben. I mean, I'm a bit scared. Uh, ben, don't be Bob, don't be such a wuss, and don't be rude. Say hi. Hello, Grandpa Bear. Oh, hello, Bob. 
Who's my favorite grandson? Oh, I'm good, thank you. Yeah, I think I'm getting along well with Ben now. Uh, except for Lisa, obviously. Oh, why am I not, son? Uh, because Lisa, however, gives me cooties. Oh, dear, that's not good. Is that true, little lady? Uh, no, of course I do not. Ah, yes, you do. Ah, what? Shush. Now, go and say, say bye to Grandpa Besson now. All right, all right. All right, then, Grandpa. Well, I think I'll just leave you with that bed. But it is nice to see you again, though. Bye-bye, Grandpa Besson. Have fun up in heaven. Oh, oh I will, Grandson. Bye-bye. Okay, Ben. Where were we? Well, I was going to tell you about Lisa. Oh, well, tell away. Well, Lisa, however, is my sweetie by all, and I love her. Oh, and you probably don't know Maggie. Do you know her? Uh, well, I may not know her. What, well, is she cute and adorable? Uh, yeah, she did, because she joined us since series four. Ooh, well. So, are you a ladies' man, Ben? Uh, yes, Grandpa. And how did you know that? Um, it's just my guess, because I heard that you are a ladies' man. Because Lisa was the one that you love. And you now love Buggy. Yeah, that's right, Granddad. Oh, you should have come and seen Lisa and Maggie, as you would have enjoyed meeting them. Oh, yeah, I expect so, Grandson. All right, then. Well, it was nice meeting you, Ben. And as for you, little lady, have fun with Benny Boy. Oh, I will, Grandpa Besson. Bye-bye. Go, -bye. Benny. Say bye to him. Bye-bye, Grandpa Passion. I miss you. I miss you too, Grandson. Goodbye. And back to Geronimo. Uh, wait a minute. Uh, don't you want to see Barbara? Oh, yes. Hello, Barbara. Oh, hello, Grandpa Passion. Oh, do you miss me? Yeah, I miss you uh, too, Barbara. Yeah, because you are my sister-in-law. Yeah, of course it is. Oh, and you probably know my husband well. Yes, because he was my son. Oh, good, Andy. Say that to him. Oh, oh, all right. Hello, Dad. Do you miss me? Yes, of course I miss you, son. Yeah, of course. Yeah, because I heard you kept strangling bought. Why do you keep doing that? Uh, well, yeah, you say, Grandpa. Uh, it's because of Bort's antics. Ah, he just doesn't change his behaviour one bit. Oh, don't you worry about him. Obviously, he gets confused. Uh, confused? Why was he confused, that brown? Well, apparently, um, I think that Bort might have some bad behaviour issues. Oh, I see. Well, don't you worry about that. Well, I've already got bought into a gentleman, but he only likes to be naughty just for to entertain those viewers out there. Eh? What do you mean by that, Andy? Well, you see, Dad, Bort really is the attention of the bastards. But Ben and Lisa is the adorable one here. Oh, well, it was very nice to see you do that, uh, Andy. Yeah, thank you, Dad. Goodbye, then, Dad. Yeah, goodbye, Grandpa. Okay, okay then. Back to Geronimo. All right, Geronimo. Over to you. Why, thank you. All right then. Now, now that you all met Grandpa Person, it's back to Andy. <laughs> it's anyone there? It's anyone there? Yes, yes, it's Geronimo again, and this time, we also got the Simpson characters that's coming from a TV show. And I know we've already had Maggie, though I've heard Grandpa Burson talked about it. Uh, yes, that's right. Well, we got Homer, Marge, and Bart Simpson. Woo! Simpson kids! That's my Billy! Billy, Billy, did you hear that? Okay, Nish, just don't spoil the curse. Oh, sorry, Ben. Oh, I'm gonna fail.
point. See what you Oh, oh dear. What about the soup I put your darling out? Yes, give me the baggy. Oh, just give me the baggy, you want to Okay. Oh, Lisa. Oh, hang on a bit. Lisa. 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 Speak to me, darling. Oh, it's all right, Penny. Oh, I didn't realize the possessive characters on my family. I didn't know they were inside the and this brain. Oh, don't you worry. It's just part of a spiritual nature. That's all. Oh, and thank you for giving me a belly rub. You know I like it. Yeah, of course you do. Oh, don't, don't worry, Geronimo. Me and Lisa will be back for you shortly. Oh, okay. Take your time. Okay, now, let's get the Simpson characters to speak. All right, you three. Speak. Hello everyone, I'm Homer Simpson! Do! About my Simpson! I'm Bart Simpson! Who, how, who the hell are you? Oh my goodness! It's Bart Simpson! Hello, Bart! Oh, hello, ma'am! So, uh, I heard that you done some naughty face with your dad. Yeah, that's right. Because dad, however, is such a stinking pixie! Stinking pixie! <laughs> That is a good one, but uh, yeah, thank you. So, uh, do, would you like to come and visit sometime? Uh, maybe so, but we're only from the USA. Oh, uh, can I also speak to Lisa? Oh, yeah, sure. Uh, I also heard that you don't like Lisa that much, do you? Um, uh, not much, but I'm okay with my sis. Uh, yeah. Oh, and if you're looking for her, she's there with Ben. Oh, okay. Well, it was nice meeting you, though, but Yeah, thank you. But I shall leave you with my mum. Okay. Alright, mum. Yeah, I think uh, there's Marge Simpson wants to speak to you. Oh, okay, Bob. I'm coming. Oh, hello, Bob Simpson. Oh, hello, Bobs. Oh, I I've heard that you got your husband with you, and it's Andy. Yeah, that's right, because Andy is the most lovable figure. Oh, thank you, Barbara. Oh, hello, Marge. Oh, and hello, Homer. Oh, hello, uh, uh, deep, uh, hello, Barbara. So, uh, I heard you two are married. Uh, yeah, that's right. Yeah, because me and Barbara were married. And we've been married for at least... Uh, uh how many years, darling? Uh, we've been married for 25 years. Uh, yeah, 25 years. 25 years? <sighs> Blimey! That old? Uh, yes. It sure is. And I also heard that you strangled Bart too. Well, guess what, Andy? What? You and I are the same. Yay! I knew I would be useful. And, of course, Bart is always badly behaving. Well, don't you worry about him. Well, I'm sure that your other son's very sensible. Yep, that'll be about it. Oh, and don't worry about Leisha. I saw that she fainted. And bed sorting her out. Oh, good for you, good for him, bud. Right, may I speak to her? Yeah, sure. Uh, Ben. Uh, yes, Dad? I think, uh, uh, Homer and Marge are ready to see her daughter, their daughter. Oh, okay, Dad, it's coming. It's okay, please, look, your family is new. I'm gonna go see them. Hello, sister family. Do you miss me? Yes, I remember you, sweetie. Yeah, because I saw that you run away from home. Why's that? Because I just want to join the best in family. Oh, good for you. Because I know we didn't mean to kill you off the Simpsons. It's just the fact that, um, you were a bit uncool. Oh, don't say that, Mum. Well, it's only because, um, I just got my own boyfriend now. And who's your boyfriend? Ben Besson. Oh, Ben Besson. Oh, tell him to come here, then. Okay. Ben, come here, darling. All right, Leash. Whoop. Here he is, Mum. Oh, good for you. Oh, you two make a lovely couple. Thanks, Mum. Oh, and this is Booty Boy here, by the way. Oh, hello, Bort. Oh, hello, Marge. And uh, hello, Homer. Hello, yeah, Bort. Hello. <laughs> well, Lisa, it looks like that you've got the best of family to keep you company. Yeah, because they're the most, the, 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 
bunch of purple bears. It's the Benny boy. <laughs> Actually, surely, shut up. If you were planning to marry Ben, what would you say to him? I would say yes because Benny is my favourite darling. Ha <laughs> ha Thank you, Leash. Well, see you later, Mama. Yeah, see you later, Leash. Yeah, bye bye, Dot Leash, sweetie. Yeah, bye, ma'am. And bye bye, everyone. And now back to Geronimo. Yeah, I am Geronimo. And don't worry, everyone. Well, I may be inside Andy's brain, but I'm still here. And I also heard that Lisa is going to marry Ben. Yeah, is he? Is he? Is he? No, he's not! That, that's not my... What? Uh, yes, Dad? How dare you interrupt the spiritual meeting? Oh, sorry, Dad. Uh, it's a curse that's on you. <gasps> oh, no. If there's an interruption, because... Oh, my goodness. <laughs> Oh, oh no! The curse! The curse! Ah! It's gonna haunt me! Ah! Oh my god! Ah! 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 That's what you get for putting a curse on it. And now he's going to go traumatised now. Oh, am I grounded? Hmm. Well, you're grounded for at least few days. Goodbye, Bob. All right, thank you too. Yeah, sorry about your father. That's okay, Mum. I think we'll just go for a walk. Come on, my darling. Let's go for a walk. Okay, Benny. Oh, and I suppose you enjoyed being in the spirit meeting. Well, goodbye, everybody. See you in the next episode. Yeah, bye bye. Oh, and rest in peace to Grandpa Bash. I had the fears now. Don't worry about my husband. Well, I'm afraid he's all traumatized. It's because of a curse. Oh, dear. Well, I'm going to say goodbye for Andy anyway. Bye bye, everybody. Bye bye. Come on, Andy. Calm down now. I'll just take you straight to bed. <laughs> he had dog. Right, bye, die. Just <gasps> what was that? Oh, I'm gonna run away. Bye. <laughs>
Well, is it Lisa Simpson's birthday? <laughs> Come on, you. Oh. See you in a minute. Oh, I can feel yeah, sorry about that. Now, as I was saying before, I was rudely interrupted. Today is Lisa's birthday. Oh, and we are all invited to be at Lisa's birthday party. And yes, even Bob Person is invited too. Yeah, but I sure hope he'll behave at Lisa's birthday, won't he? Uh, well, I'm sure he would. Uh, I expect that uh, your dad is going to explain that to Bob about Lisa's birthday. Oh, well, okay. Don't you want to argue and choose some presents now, and I shall leave you with my dad talking to Bob about Lisa's birthday. See ya. And uh, say with me. Oh, hello everybody. Now, you probably heard from Ben Person. Well, today is Lisa's birthday. Oh, and I'm explaining that to Bob about Lisa's birthday. Now, let's go and, let's go and see him, shall we? Oh, hello, Bob. Oh, hello, Dad. Well, you never guess whose birthday is it today. Uh, is it my birthday, Dad? Uh, no, Bob. I think we've had your birthday last time. Oh, yeah, and is it Ben's birthday too? Uh, no. Well, I think it'll be Lisa's birthday. Ah! <laughs> Lisa's birthday? Oh! Well, how old is she get? How old is she going to be, Dad? Twelve? Well, apparently she's going to be eight! Uh, hang on a bit. Uh, wasn't Lisa eight years old before? Uh, it, it, could, it could be true, Bob, but that's only on perception. But this is real life we're talking about. Oh. Oh, and I'm afraid that uh, you are invited to Lisa's birthday party. What? Lisa's birthday party? Oh, Dad. I don't want to go there. I'm not going. Oh, come on, Bob. Don't be like that. And besides, don't be... I'm sure you'll have lots of fun. No, I won't! Because I expect that they'll do some girly things like... Yes! Yes, please, yes! Let's play chicken's ears! Let's play the chicken's ears! No! And I'm still not going! Hell nah! Not going! Bot fashion! You either go to Faces birthday party, or you will never get any video games at all! How about no? How about if I give you a big strangle like this? Ah! 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 Stop slapping me! Oh, you leave me! Ah, get off! Well, are you going to behave at Lisa's birthday party? No way, that! Ah! Oh, yes! Yes! I can't get! Oh, no! Ow! Ow! Oh, for goodness sake! Ow! What? Why are you throwing at me? Well, why do you have to spin like a spun bat? Look, I know you and Lisa don't get along with each other, but you have to. Because you're going to Lisa's birthday party, whether you like it or lump it. Oh, yeah? Well, how about if I bite your bottom? Uh, how about if I bite your back? Oh, okay, okay, Dad. I'll go to Lisa's birthday party. But I'm going to stay... Well... Uh, uh, Dad? Yes? Uh, what sort of fun party game are, are these sort of friends going to play? Ah, well, apparently it's going to be true or death. Well, I tell you I've not played that game. What? You will play true or death, or you will get at least eight strikes for your bad behaviour. Ah, Dad, I do not badly behave. Ah, yes, you do, but don't you lie to me. As I was saying, now, you get eight strikes. If you break one strike, then you will be stabbed once. Oh, and what happens if I lose the other seven? Well, the other seven that you will lose because you will be grounded with no video games at all. Oh. Alright, Dad. Yeah, I promise I'll behave. Good. But I won't. Ah, what did you say, son? Nothing. Ah, oh, good. Right, now, now, boy, now, I said, go to Lisa's birthday party! Ow! Oh, oh, I don't care, don't me! Well, are you coming too, Dad? 
Uh, yes, son. Of course I am. Yeah, hmm. just to keep an eye on you! Alright. Uh, well, same it up, yes. Hmm, I wonder how bad's getting on Chooser's suppressors, Felicia. Share a minute. Uh, oh. Oh, so with me. Oh, and of course, um, I think that we'll just skip the presents until Lisa's big day. See you later. Oh, and as I always say, end of part one. Hello, everybody. I'm Lisa Simpson, and today is my birthday. <laughs> oh, no. Oh, Lisa Simpson, get off me. I don't have a happy birthday. Dopey! Don't you call me Dopey! Do you want me to ruin your birthday? No, okay, I'll help you! Well, good. Alright then, at least, uh, I think that, uh, um, Ben has got something for you. Eee, what is it? Oh, well, if you turn yourself round like that, uh, and I'm sure you'll get a surprise. Okay. Alright then, right, get ready for those presents! Okay! I don't mind this, but I just, I got two recorded tapes. I? Two recorded tapes? Is that all you can find? Yeah, because I've already given them, my girlfriend, some wonderful videos. So that's what I could find. Oh, that's a shame. That's alright. I expect that Lisa will love these films, especially the turning point. Yeah, tell me about it. There, yeah, that's that sorted. Ready. Okay, my darling, come and look. Okay, Daddy. Hello, what's this? The Tommy Boy and Jane L. Oh, this is going to be my favourite film. Oh, these are the best presents ever. And it doesn't matter if it's the wrong ones. I love it. Oh, uh, Bert, uh, could you come back for a minute? Yeah? Well, I think that, um, Lisa loves your birthday gifts. Yeah, because I think Jane uh, and Tony Boyd are both her favourite films. Ah, oh, well, I'm glad you enjoyed it. I'm glad you liked it, honey. Oh, yeah. Thank you, Benny. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. Oh, you're welcome, please. Oh, oh, gosh. It makes me want to blush. Ooh, so it's good, Ben's blushy! Uh, Alright, but you can stop now. You're safe. Thanks, Titus. Mmm, her lips are taste like strawberries. Uh, don't be cheeky, Ben. It's just a joke. Oh, I see. Uh, Alright, I get it now. Right, why don't you go and sit next to Lisa, then? Okie dokie. Well, Lisa. Are you enjoyed your birthday? Yes, Benny. I oh, sure am now. Hmm, and what if this boy is invited to my birthday? Well, I pretty much doubt that, because I know he'll badly behave. Well, don't you worry about that, Benny. Well, I sure hope Bert's not going to ruin my day. <coughs> oh, uh, anyway, Stuart, well, I think that Andy will be coming anyway, so get ready. Okay. Alright then everybody, right, I'm back again. Now, uh, me and Bo are have arrived at Lisa's birthday party. Oh, don't worry, we got Maggie Simpson with us this time. Maggie, come up here, girl! <laughs> hello, Ben. Oh, hello, Maggie. Oh, how are you, sweetie? Guess what? It's your big sister's birthday! <laughs> Oh, thanks, Pink Maggie. You're my best sister. Ah, uh, well, that's nice. Oh, I, I also heard that uh, <coughs> Ben Bresson is becoming a ladies man. Uh, isn't that right, uh, Ben? Uh, yeah, that's right, Dad. Yeah, cause me, because I love Lisa first of all, Dad. Do you remember back in the shorts called Ben's girlfriend? Yes, I remember that one very well, because you were so adorable with Lisa here. And same to you. Yeah, thanks, Andy. Oh, and I also remember a couple of episodes back, you, you love Maggie now. Yeah, it's a good thing you've learned a lot. Yeah, that's right, Dad. That's why we've done our own epilogue. Good for you, Ben. 
Alright, right, I'll go and get what right away. Yeah, excuse me, minute, you free. Okay. And you, poor person, come to my birthday party now! Alright, alright. I'm coming. Ah. <laughs> Here I am. Oh, good. Now, have you got your pressure ready? Uh, no. Uh, it's alright, but I've got one present up from you. And I believe it'll be this one. The Simpsons movie on DVD. Oh, thank you, Dryters. So, Dryters, what, what do I have to do with this? I mean, I don't really want to give this one to Lisa. I mean, this is mine. Uh, no, it's not, Bort. Uh, Ernie, I think Bort thinks that it's his person. Bort person? I actually, you thrust your first strike so far. Several more, and you will be grounded. All right, all right. Well, Lisa. Happy birthday. Uh, that's all I could find. Oh, that's good, Bob. Let's go have a look. Ah, oh, the Simpsons movie. Oh, well, I remember that film. Oh, because I watched it with Benny Boyd last time. Thank you, Bob. You're welcome, Lisa. Not really. What did you say, Bob? Nothing. Good. Alright, then, Dad. So, uh, what sort of party games are we, are they, are we going to play now? Well, she just said that I am the leader now, and I'm supposed to keep an eye on you, Bort. Next, first, we're going to play Truth or Dare. Yay! Yay! No! <sighs> Yay! I Bort! Show me your enthusiasm, boy! Yay! Ah, that's better. Well, see you in a minute, viewers. Alright then, you four. Hmm, especially you, Bort. Next, first up, we're going to play Truth or Dare. So, you can have a go first, birthday girl. Okay, I did. I did pick. Okay. Bort? Yes. Truth or Dare? Uh, Truth. Is it true that you like Maggie? Yeah, of course I do, Lise. Yeah, because Maggie is much better hm, than you, because you are such a smelly, ugly girl. What? Yes? Why did you call her ugly? Uh, well, that's what she is, isn't she? No, she's not! Right, that's it, but You've lost another strike now. Six more, and you're grounded! Alright, alright. Sorry, Lisa. I didn't mean to call you ugly. That's alright, just don't do it, don't call me that again. I won't. But I will. What did you say, Bort? Nothing. Good. Okay. I think I'll just leave you out then. Okay, Ben. True for dare. Um. Uh, true. Is it true that you love me and Maggie? Yeah, of course I do, Lise. Yeah, because you two are lovely. Oh, Benny. You say the sweetest thing. <laughs> well, Lisa, gosh. Alright, that's that, 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 that is. Right, my turn. Okay. Alright, Maggie. Triple down. Well, what's she saying? Well, I think she's saying dare. Oh, oh yeah. Okay, Maggie. I dare you to. Kiss Bort! Ooh, sounds like Maggie's excited about this, aren't you, Maggie? Oh, good. Hey, Bort! Uh, yes, Titus? I think Maggie's going to kiss you. Ooh, now that's the sort of thing I like. <laughs> Thanks, Maggie. Ugh, you're the best! Well, at least this is the best day ever. Okay then. Um, let me see. Ha! Ah, Lisa! Truth or dare? Dare? I dare you to. Kiss Bort. I am not kissing him. Yes, you will. Come on. No, wait, Bort, Benny boy. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Uh, Bort, Benny person! Stop it, Mrs. Doyle! You boron! Oh, all right, all right, I'll kiss him. <laughs> I'm gonna do it. Hey, Bort. Yes? 
I'm going to kill you! <laughs> I got you, Doug! You don't get this! I got you! I can't back you, buddy boy! Load up! Oh, 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 oh. Buggy, hold it! Oh, no, Buggy! I'll oh, get you! No! Oh, 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 oh. No! That's not nice. Uh, but all it is, it's because he can't be cast as part of a dare. Well, that's no excuse, but. Right, you've lost another strike now. Fight more and you're grounded. Alright, alright. Sorry, Lisa, if I called you ugly again. I had to call you an idiot. Uh -oh. oh, that's okay, but. Don't call me that again. I won't. Oh, and it's alright then. Yeah, I think Lisa's done that now, so you can sit back down. Okay. Alright, Maggie, you're done. <laughs> uh, I think she's saved that uh, board. Triple death. Uh. Death. I. I dare you to see. Slopper, my dad. Uh -uh. Oh, come on, Maggie. Come on, it's part of your dare. Go on, I dare you. Go on. Go on, go on, go on, go on, go on. Go on. Uh, 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 uh. What are you starting to think for? Dad, why are you stangling me? Maggie, no, hey, let him go. That's my job. Oh. Ow! Oh, what is that? You have to strangle me like that. Oh, now she won't take my dirt. That is not fair. Uh, don't be a money boy, boy. Ow! All right. Don't worry, Maggie. I'll pick a better dare for you. How's that? <laughs> uh, she's saying trivial dare for um trim. <laughs> uh, she's just asking you. Is it true that you like Lisa? Uh, well, hmm. I think my honest answer is uh, no, Maggie. Yeah, I don't really love Lisa at all. Ah, uh, because she gives me cooties! Poor Bessa! I do not give you cooties! <laughs> Cut that up, body boy! Ah! Bessa! Why do you have to do that? Ah! Ah! Sorry, Lisa. That's alright. Just don't do that again. I won't. Alright then, Maggie. Right. You might as well pick that next. Oh, uh, she's asking you, Ben. Truth or dare? Uh, true. And if she say, uh, is it true that you love her? Yeah, of course I do, Maggie. You're so lovely, so. Come and have a hug on me, baby girl. Oh, Maggie. That's so nice. Alright, Maggie, here I think you've played enough truth or dare now. So, uh, I think we'll let uh, your substitute dad pick the next game, okay? Oh, okay. Alright, Maggie, here I think they've had enough of truth or dare now. Okay. Right, the next game that you for is that we are going to play musical statues. Ooh, musical statues! Ooh, now that's my type of game. Ah, well I see your enthusiasm is picked up now, boy. Now that's a spirit. Okay, now because we're going to 
pick a different type of music, I will choose the music. Well, shit a minute first whilst I do that. Oh, these are all just move your presents now. Thank you. <laughs> all right then, you four. Right, I picked up the best music now, and it's Daisy, Daisy, give me your a to do song. Ooh, now that's the song that Danny would have loved to sing, but didn't he? Don't you, bad. Yeah, of course I do, Leash. So, is that what we're going to listen to and dance to at the same time? Uh, yes, Ben. And uh, yes, Lisa. Of course. Oh, and the director can play the music for us. Uh, can you do that for us, director? Oh, yeah. Sure thing, uh, Andy. Okay. Right, you four. Right. Off you go. <coughs> Starting with the birthday girl first. Now this is fun! Yeah, that's the spirit bot! Well, should have been first once we carry on. that they all stopped at the same time. Okay, right, let's continue with the music though. Off we go again. could be out. Yeah, but that's not how you played the game for. Cut it out, you. <laughs> Ow! Ah, <laughs> hey! Oh! What did you do that for, Dad? Well, that's what you get for pushing Lisa off. You don't push it into the loud. Right, that's it. Not only is your discord right from escape, you've also flushed your fifth strike. Four more, and you're grounded. Oh, but I want to carry on playing, Dad. Well, tough. You should have thought about it before you pushed Lisa off. Well, fine. But I certainly don't want to play that game anyway, Dad. So get out of here. So you can have fun with me. Ow! <laughs> Ow! Uh, Lisa? <sighs> Are you okay? Yeah, I'm alright. Don't worry, little lady. She's gone. He's gone now. Oh, good. Well, thanks, Andy. You're very welcome, Lisa, dear. Right, and I shall leave you with the... I shall leave you with the other two now. Okay. Well, share a minute, Lewis. Well, it looks like Bot Person is disqualified. All right, let's continue with some music. Shall we... All right, well, I'm just going to get you gathered again. Oh, at this time, Ben, you get to be in the middle this time. Oh, I always wanted to be in the middle. Because of my Lisa, darling. Oh, uh, yep. Okay, right, here we go. Ooh, 
And I think all three of them have stopped this time. And it's a good thing there's no board person to push anyone this time. Continuing now. Oh, well done again, you two. Right, I'm just going to go back to the start and we can start again. Ah, uh, okay. Right, here we go. What's more? Just that YouTube moved. Well, I'm sorry, YouTube. You're out. Oh dear. Uh, don't worry, Keisha, honey. I guess we're both out now, so let's sit down now. Okay, Penny. And it looks like Maggie Simpson has won. Oh, well done, little magpie. And you deserve a special prize. Oh dear. Come and give Maggie a kiss. Okay. Well, Maggie. Well done for winning our musical statues. You just have a prize. Ah, <sniffs> I think she loves my prize. Yeah, especially the blowy brush pieces. Right, I'm going to do that anyway. Who's the little winner? <laughs> Who's the little winner? <laughs> <laughs> love you. Ah, well, I love you too. Alright, Maggie, you can let go now. That's better. Alright, then, Maggie, now let's go back to that spot, shall we? Good idea. Yeah, share the minute, yeah, your foot. And hopefully, Bot will change his behavior again. Share ya. Right, come on, Maggie, you too. <laughs> and Maggie has now left the party games. Uh, for now. Alright then, you four. Now, a musical statues is over now. Hmm. No thanks to Bot's antics here. <sighs> you pushy someone. You twit! Oi! Don't you call me a twit! Cut it out, daddy paddy! Ah! Oh! Oh! Don't have a good try! Oh! Bot bastard! I'll give, I'll give you fuck that! Uh, oh. I asked the thing you bought. It's a badly behaved boy, you are. Ow! Alright, alright. Sorry, Dad. Will you stop saying sorry? And I will not take this apology if you're going to continue. Okay. Alright then, everybody. Yeah, shy about Bot. Uh, he's just not usually like this. So, anyway, now before we have a birthday cake. I think we got one more party game. Oh, not more party game. What, Bastion? I know, I know. Get involved. <laughs> right, as I was saying, now we got one more party game, and it's Disco! <gasps> now that's my type of party game! That's better, boy. Now, so, let's all have a dance. Oh, okay, up, Daddy. <laughs> okay, up, Dad. All right, Dad. Mm, and I'm going to enjoy this. Yeah, glad you will, son. You will. Yeah, share a bit first while we get the dancing bit together. Share. All right, the fuse now. Don't worry, I think everyone's all gathered up now because it's time for the disco of Andy Sir. Right. At the music that I have found now, and it's called Matt's Blues. Yeah, just like in the song, Moaning Lisa Blues, to celebrate her birthday. And off we go, and over to Ben first. Here we go. Over to Lisa next.
the boat now. I'm so good at this. Uh, well, I'm glad I enjoyed the disco. Well, I'm going to get back over there. See you later, everybody. Oh, and so with me. Uh, thank you for listening to the song. Alright then, you four. Now, did you all enjoy doing the spot of dancing? <laughs> yes, Dad. I enjoyed doing that, and it was pretty cool. Yeah, I agree with my brother. Yeah, me too. Oh, and I love dancing with my Danny boy. Ah, well, I'm glad you all enjoyed dancing. And now it's time for some birthday cake. Ooh, birthday cake? Uh, let me guess, Dad. Is it for Lisa's birthday? Yes, sir, it is. Ooh. And where's that birthday cake? Ah, but well, I'm just going to get it now, but so I, I can show you and that birthday girl or what it looks like. Okay. Well, see you in a minute, and stay with me. Hmm, I wonder what I'm going to do with the birthday cake that Dad has prepped up. Hmm. <laughs> Alright, Lisa, here we are. This is your own birthday cake. Woohoo! Lovely voice, I see. Thanks, Andy. You're very welcome, Lisa. I'll pass that over to you. <laughs> okay, everyone. Now, I'm going to start it all off first. Right, me first. And I know, Maggie, you can't sing, but don't worry, I'm sure you can do whatever it is you can do, okay? And tell her, tell her, happy birthday. Happy birthday. Thanks, Maggie. Okay, well, I'm going to start all off first. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, dear Lisa. Simple. Happy birthday to you. Oh, thank you, you guys. I know thank you, boy, boy. What's you call me, Lisa Simple? Ah, well, that's what your last name is, isn't it? No, it's not. Oh, yeah. Well, how about if I do this? Ah, oh, how? Where's that? What did you do? <laughs> Why do you have to be so annoying? I don't know. Uh, is it the fact that... Uh, Lisa, what, one question. What's that? Are you angry at me? No, Port. Of course I'm not. Oh, good. Oh, uh, Lisa? Yeah? Uh, I think there's something wrong with that, that cake here. Oh, what do you mean? Well, if you look down here closely... I'm sure that there's something going off. Uh, what do you mean by that? Ah, wait and see and have a sniff. Okay, I suppose I'll have to. <laughs> right, what do you see? Because I'm going to plop it. Hello, Lisa! Happy I'm birthday to you, Lisa! <laughs> this is hilarious! What a smell! What <laughs> Uh, yes? How dare you push me? That's what you've done to my face! That one is looking at me right! 
What? Oh my goodness! What's up to you, bitch? What is that doing up my gang? What person? Yes? How dare you twist my shot into a birthday time? What are you thinking? Well, only because she does some stupid things. Like, she's called an idiot for a start. Well, I just told you it was not nice. Right, that's it, but You know what? I've had enough of you. You've lost four strikes for that. So, get out of the body. Uh, but, Dad, but can't I just... Get out! <laughs> Fine. Well, if you don't want me in that party anymore, well, I'm going to have to leave you to it now. So, I'm not sorry about that, everyone. I'm not talking to any of you for a week. Bye-bye! Oh, no. Ace's birthday cake is ruined. Oh. Why well, does Bob have to be like that? Oh, dear. Uh, are you all right, at least? No, Andy. My face is ruined. Oh, don't you worry, young lady. Uh, I'm sure that a sudden danger will probably have to clean you up. Uh, won't you, Dryden? Uh, yeah, of course I will, Andy. And besides, I've done that before. Uh, well, you better do, because Lisa is about to cry. That spoiled her today. Oh, all right, then. All right, uh, uh, anyway, Sandy, uh, so you know that you are a father. Uh, you're not going to speak to him for a week, are you? Uh, well, of course I have to speak to him. Only I have to give him a word for it. That's all. Oh. Well, remember what your wife said. Don't be too harsh on him. I won't. Good. What did you say, Andy? Nothing. Oh, good. Right, I'll clean Lisa's face off for you. Shame about this whilst I haven't a word with that stupid brunt boy of mine. See ya. <laughs> oh, right. oh, oh dear, Lisa, are you okay? Oh, darling, can you just give me a wife? No, don't worry, Lisa. I think that, um, Auntie just told me to wake you, so I'll get you a towel. Just bear with me, won't you? Okay. Alright, Lisa, right, I've just woke you off now, but. Let's have a look at your pretty little face, and your hair. Hmm. Uh, let's have a look at doing on your dress. Uh, it's just to make sure you're clean. Okay. Hmm. Well, you've only got a little bit on. Uh, I'm afraid your dress is a little ruined. <coughs> oh, oh, please Lisa, oh please don't cry. I didn't mean to make you upset, but it's not your fault this time. It's the party boy! Oh, don't worry. I'm sure Ben will give you a cuddle. Uh, won't you, Ben? Uh, yeah, of course I will. Uh, so what's wrong with her? Oh, well, I believe that your big brother, Bort, has pushed her in that birthday cake. <gasps> so, that big brother of mine is nothing but trouble. Ugh. Oh, don't worry about that for your shy. Are you going to get a bit angry? Uh, look, don't, uh, burn. It's all right. I don't want you to get angry, and I don't want you to get involved in it. Yeah, because, uh, your father is dealing with him anyway. Okay. Oh, come in, my sweetie pie. Come on, back, cuddle. <laughs> okay, buddy. Oh, it's all right, Lisa. Shush, 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 shush. Sh it's okay, my sweetie boy. There's no need to cry. <laughs> there is, then. I mean, my face was going to cut back again. And it's not the only thing. My dress is ruined. Huh? So, what do you mean your dress is ruined? Show me. I think it's there. <laughs> oh, that's bad. I know. Oh, my <laughs> oh, it's all right, Lish. Shh. It's okay. There, there, my sweetie boy. No need to cry. There, there, my love. There, there. Me and Maggie are here now. 
Uh, Maggie, you might want to give her a cuddle too. <laughs> yeah, well done, Maggie. Yeah, give her some support, and I'll do the same. Oh, look at that. Looks like Ben and Maggie are hugging Lisa together. Well, that's the first time for everything. Oh, and for once, I didn't even wreck her birthday. Directors, shut up, will you, will you? Well, sorry, Ben. Just saying. That's all. Oh, okay, Lisa. Shh. There's no need to cry. I know your dress isn't, isn't ruined. Well, it's just obviously things don't turn up this way. Oh, Benny, I hate Bart. He hates me. <coughs> well, I'm sure he doesn't hate you. Yes, he does. <laughs> All he ever does is call me an idiot. And he also called me ugly. Well, I'm sure he didn't mean to call you that, but he did mean to. Don't worry. My dad is going to have a word with him after all. Oh, my birthday ruined. Well, shit a bit of fish. Let's see with me over the at the pot one. And will Lisa's birthday still be on? Find out after the break. Don't go away. Well, and look at Uncle Cry. Well, I'm going to do the same. See ya. Wow. Alright, Nephews. Right, don't worry about me. I am grounded now. Yeah, because I managed to push Lisa into that birthday cake. Yeah, I think I'm regretting what I do now. Well, I guess I'm grounded with no video games. And now, I am moping down. And I feel like I've caught... The Moaning Barty Blues. Oh, pfft, Moaning Barty Blues? Don't you mean Lisa Blues? No, it's my new faint now. Oh, I see. Well then, boy, I guess you're grounded now, aren't you? Yes, I'm afraid so. Oh, gosh. What have I ever done to, to deserve to ruin Lisa's birthday? I don't think everyone will talk to me for a week after this. I think everyone really hates me. Hmm. Oh dear, it looks like Fort is going to cry. Alright, oh, Erdie, well, I think I might want to have a word with him. Oh, alright. Alright then, Bot. Uh, bot. 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 Uh, I'm okay, Dad. Sorry. Yeah, I just had to be feeling a bit mopey. Yeah, because I know I didn't mean to wreck Lisa birthday. And am I still grounded, Dad? Yes, son, I'm afraid you are. Now, anyways, <coughs> it's time I've had a word with you. You know, you really shouldn't wreck Lisa's birthday party. It's not your birthday, it's Lisa's birthday. Oh, hey, uh, I, I understand why you want me to be invited. Just because you want to blackmail me just to be good like Ben Besson. But, bad boy, boy, it it's nothing like that. Well, now come and have a shit on my lap, uh, boy. Alright then, Dad, but remember, I'm a bit big to sit on your lap. No, you're not, Bort. You're perfect size already. Alright. Where? Oh. Alright, I'm on your lap. <coughs> so you see, boy. Now, the reason why I grounded you, it's because you've just pushed Lisa into that birthday cake for a start. And that is not okay to do. And also, first of all, you called Lisa an ungrateful idiot and also ugly, which is not nice. Look, I, I understand you that you and Lisa don't get along with each other, but you do need to get used to having Lisa around. I mean, how would you feel if the Ben were to wreck your birthday? Do you want that to happen, Duck son? Uh, no, I don't want that to happen on my birthday next time. Well, you better not do the same. Th well, he better not do the same thing as you did with Lisa. And now, look at that. Lisa is crying because she needs you to say sorry to her. Uh, but why should I apologise, Dad? I mean, she'll hate me now. Well, you will. Oh, you will be grounded even more without video games if you don't. 
And what happens if I don't apologise? Well, I would send you to a children's home. <gasps> what? Children's home? Oh, Dad, I don't want to go there. I'll fight my religion. I'll be good. I promise. Well, say sorry to Lisa. No. No, sorry, but you broke, you broke your promise. And I want you to apologise to Lisa this minute. Well, can I at least do it to you in the epilogue? Uh, what, what do you think, everybody? Shall we do that to any epilogue? Well, uh, yeah, that sounds like a good idea, Andy. Uh, besides, Bort really needs to learn his lesson. Oh, uh, yes, Bort, of course you can say sorry to Lisa. Join the epilogue, fight. Alright, well, thank you very much, Dad, for a nice word. Oh, I suppose you're going to hate me now, aren't you, Dad? Go on then, Dad. Spank me if you must. At what? Don't show your bottom at me. I'm not going to spank you. I promise you that. Oh. You're not going to spank me? No, I'm not going to do that to you. I mean, besides... Here, yeah, come and have a cuddle with me. I mean, besides, it takes a lot of monkey work. Uh, you know, monkey. You know what I mean? Uh, yeah, I know what you mean, Dad. I guess you're going to act like one, aren't you? Yes, I am, Bort. And this is exactly what I'm going to do. Gee, <laughs> 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 like, but the, the Andy, my dad, is going to be turned into a baboon. Just like Mackie George. <laughs> hey, Bort. <laughs> have you got any bananas? <laughs> no, I haven't got any bananas. Cheeky monkey. Oh, yeah? I'm going to crack you. <laughs> Well, where's my bananas? <laughs> uh, <laughs> I'm sorry, Dad. Ah, uh, that's okay, son. I forgive you. Oh, and I'm also sorry for strangling all those series. Now, now, promise me one fish, son. Uh, what's that? A anything for you, Dad? Well, what? I want you to say sorry to Leisha and to everyone. Well, okay, a am I still grounded after that? Yes, Freight show, Bort. Oh dear. Okay, Dad, well, I think I'll go apologise to her, probably do the epilogue. Good boy, and well done for making that promise. And I think that you deserve a frosty chocolate milkshake only if you say sorry to her. First. Okay. Well, I could do with a frosty chocolate milkshake soon. Yeah, I know you will, but that, that's no video games this time. Alright then, Dad. Good. I better leave you to it. Well, goodbye, everybody. See you in the next episode, maybe. Goodbye. <laughs> and I'm also sorry about Bort's bad behaviour. Come on, Bort. Uh, let's just, just go to your room and stay there. Alright. Oh. Alright, Infuse. Oh, I want to see Lisa still crying at the moment. Uh, Fern? Yes, Dr. Titus? Uh, is Lisa still crying? Yeah, I'm afraid so, Titus. Oh, I don't... I think Maggie's just cuddled her in enough. Can you get her to sleep now? Oh, yeah, sure thing. All right, Maggie, right. That's enough for cuddling her now. Just leave Fern to it, okay? Oh, just give her one more pat, then. There you go. Oh, thank you. Right. You might as well go and be with, um, Daddy, then. <laughs> and thank you so bye-bye to you viewers. And I hope we'll see you in the next episode. Alright then, Ben. Well, it's just you and Lisa now. And uh, don't worry. I'm sure that, um, you will be singing a special song to Lisa later for her birthday. Oh, uh, okay. But I'm going to get Uncle George to sing for... with me. Hey, Uncle George? Oh, is that the one that when Andy gets angry with him? Uh, yeah, that's the one. But he's going to be coming to visit me. Oh. Okay, but right now, carry on hugging her. Okay. Oh, it's alright, Lisa. It's okay. Don't worry about your little sister. Your little sister, Maggie, has been with my dad for a bit. But that's why I'm always here for you. And don't worry about Bort. I think 
My dad's already had a word with him, didn't he, Dad? Oh, uh, yeah, of course he did, up there. Yeah, and it was a very job well done to him. Yeah, that's what parenting is all about. Yep, and he's done pretty good. And as Lisa said to me, he's wise. Oh, uh, yeah. Oh, it's okay, Lisa. Come and sit next to me, darling. Okay. Uh, Brad is going to get the hanky for us. Oh, yeah, cool thing. Uh, oh, there you are, Ben. Thank you. Alright, I suppose I'll hold the hanky just like I did before. There we go. Oh, hang on a bit. There we are. Me and the Uncle George are going to sing you a very special song just for you on your birthday. Really, Benny? Yeah, of course, really. I promise. It will cheer you up. I promise, my lady. <laughs> Thank you, Benny. You're welcome. Well, shit a bit up yours. Oh, I love you, cameraman. Well, I'm glad you're happy all the same. Right, now go be with that, uh, bad person then. Okay. Well, at least she's off the camera this time for a change. See you in a minute. Oh, hello everybody. Right, I am Uncle George, the uncle of Fort and Bear. And I also heard that someone is celebrating Lisa's birthday. Ooh, that sounds exciting. Oh, and I also heard that Ben is going to be singing a very special song to Lisa. And he wants me to join with him. Uh, ben, uh, can you bring Lisa with you? Uh, yeah, of course I am. Hello, Funky George. Oh, hello, Ben. Oh, hello, little lady. Hey, why the little face? Uh, it's alright, Lisa. I'll explain to George. Okay. And we said why your police are sad of about George. Uncle George, um, it's because George has wrecked Lisa's birthday. <gasps> oh, my God. Oh, that is very serious, then. Yeah, tell me about it. And, um, it's a good thing that your, my dad isn't here to see you, is he? Well, not after what happened. But that is why I will be making a welcome return in the next couple of episodes. Oh, that's good. Oh, uh, Uncle, Uncle George? Uh, yes, Pat? Uh, can you please sing a special song for Lisa? Oh, well, that sounds like a good idea, Ben. Tell you what, then. Um, if Lisa can sit on my lap here. All right, Lisa, you can sit on my lap if you want to. Okay. And as for you, Ben, you might as well go and enjoy it too. Okay. See you in my viewers. And say with me. Lady, uh, lady, obviously, I now give you Ben and Uncle George. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you very much. Okay then, my fair lady. Me and Uncle George are going to sing for you. But first, I need to stop acting like a child. And to become a man. Yeah. Well, I didn't know you could, voice change. You could change your voice instantly, Benny. Oh, thank you. But that's because I've been doing it on my own. Secretly. No, you're so brave. Yeah, thank you. All right, put me as a goal. Oh, sure thing, then. Okie dokie. Right. Here we go. Right, over to you first, man. Lisa, Lisa, give me your answer, do. I have crazy over the love of you. It would be a stylish marriage. 
I can't afford a carriage But you'll look sweet upon the seat of the bicycle made for two Lisa, Lisa, give Ben your answer do He's half crazy over the love of you It would be a stylish marriage He can't afford a carriage But you'll look sweet Upon the seat of a bicycle made For you and Ben Lisa, Lisa Give me your answer to I can't crazy over the love of you It won't be a stylish marriage I can't afford a carriage But you'll look sweet upon the seat of a bicycle made for two Thank you, thank you, thank you very much. Alright then, Uncle George here. Thank you very much. Oh, you're very welcome. Well, I'll leave you to it up then. Oh, and bye-bye everybody. See you in episode 12. Goodbye. Well then, Lisa, my honey pie. Did you enjoy your birthday today? Well, yes and no. Ah, why yes and no? You can tell me. Don't be afraid. Well, but yes, Poop. But I enjoyed my birthday with you. Which is, which is good. But as for the no bit, Port Reckon. Oh, don't you worry about him. I'm pretty sure that my, that my brother will, will apologise to you later. I, I also heard what's going on. And of course, please, I think that you and I can kiss each other to celebrate your birthday. Out, out, out. Don't skip me. Let's go to bed. What? Oh, the music on. And sing. Aww, look at that. Well, I think that Lisa is getting so adorable with me now. Aww. Do you know what? I'll give her a hug soon. Alright, Lisa. Let's kiss. Okay. Oh, look at that. Looks like Ben and Lisa are so adorable on Lisa's birthday. Happy birthday, little lady. Thank you. Oh, you're very welcome. So, Lisa, how was it? It was good. What? Does that mean you like it? Yes, it's good. Yummy. Oh, Lisa, 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 Lisa. Happy, happy, joy, joy. Happy, happy, joy, joy. Oh, happy birthday to you, Benny. Yep. Yeah. Alright, but you can change your voice first. But get off me, <laughs> Alright, yeah, just bear with me for a minute, won't you? <coughs> That's better. Alright, Lisa, now my force is back. Oh, get me, Danny. Anyways, uh, I think we need to finish this episode. As I see does with you, my darling. Why? Why, of course, Lisa. The S? Lisa for Simpson. Oh, okay, hello. We'll say goodbye first. Okay. Bye bye, everybody. See you again soon. Bye bye. Bye bye to me, little. Come on, Betty. Let's get off first, Betty. Okay. 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 And goodbye for the directors. Oh, and don't worry about the upload bit. We'll get to that after they've danced together. Join the following air crew. That's it right now. Bye bye everybody. Goodbye.
hello everybody. Oh, and welcome to my own epilogue. Oh, and as I promised, as I made a promise to my dad, I'm going to say sorry to Lisa. Well, I am a bit scared of apologising to her. Uh, only because I didn't mean to wreck her birthday. Oh, well, I'm afraid you did mean to wreck her birthday, so you do need to apologise to her. And as your dad said, behave like a man. Very well, then. Ooh, I'm so scared right now. Hmm, should I or shouldn't I? Hmm. Nah, what do I care? I don't want to apologise to her. Uh, but, person, where do you think you're going? Uh, going back to my room because I'm still grounded. Uh, but, I know you're grounded, but you can't go now. I mean, what about that frosty chocolate milkshake? Oh. Well, I'm a bit, really am a bit scared of apologising to Lisa. I'll get my dad to come with me. Uh, Dad? Uh, what is it, son? Can you come with me? Uh, come on, what? Can't you apologise to Lisa on your own? Uh, not really, Dad. I yeah, am a bit scared of apologising to Lisa. Oh, don't worry. Ben will be with you. But remember, he may be a bit angry with you. So you're going to have to be a brave boy. Alright, I suppose I'll have to act like a man, I suppose. Alright, thanks for the advice, Dad. Okay, here we go. Oh, I'm so scared right now. Right, now, let's see how we're doing for Ben and Lisa. Alright, everybody. Oh, and I was wondering why we're all in the epilogue for. Oh, uh, well, you see, Ben, um, I think Bot has got something to say to Lisa, though. Oh, is it about the birthday cake? Uh, yes, it is. Oh, well, okay. That sounds cool. Right, and here he is, speaking of which. And you, bored person, who stop being such a worse and go and apologize to Lisa. Ow! Ah. Uh, oh, uh, hello, everyone. Oh, hello, ex brother. <laughs> oh, and, uh, hello. Oh, hi, bored. What do you want? Uh, I think my dad wants me to say something to you, Lise. What's that then, Bort? Uh, well, there is one thing I have to say to you. That I am very, very sorry about pushing you into that birthday cake. Well, I just thought it was only a joke. But I understand that why I only did that. Because I might have ruined your face. Uh, and I didn't even realise I ruined your dress a bit. That's okay, but it's only a little bit on my dress. Anything else? Well, and I also would like to say sorry to everyone else who got involved in my accident. So, will you all forgive me? Hmm, what do you think of this? Well, I'll probably forgive him once. Ah, oh, yeah, me too, Liz. What are you, Maggie? Oh. She says she doesn't know, Bob. Oh, I suppose I might have made her cry too. Oh dear. Mm. Oh, it's okay, Bob. I mean, there's no need for you to be scared. I mean, me at least have forgiven you. I mean, how are you going to prove that you are forgiven? Well, I think the best thing is go down on my knees and beg. Alright, how's that, Ben? Very good. Now, back us, Bort. Back us. Okay, Ben. I, 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 I the beg of three of you, please forgive me. And I'm very sorry, Lisa, for ruining your birthday. Oh, that's okay, Bort. Apology accepted. Well, thank you for apologising, Bort. You know, you're so cute like Maggie. Aw, thanks, Lisa. Well, I'm glad that your birthday is successful, and I know I didn't mean to wreck your birthday. Well, uh, I just wish I hadn't been invited. I'm a bad boy. Um, what do you think, Pat? Um, is Bort a bad boy? No, he's not. He's my good brother. Oh, and he's very proud of apologising to you. Well done, b b Bort. Thanks, thanks, Ben. Alright, Bort. I'll go sit back there with Ben now. 
Okay, bud. Give him a hug. Okay, Lish. Well, then, Bort, I'm so proud of you. You deserve a hug from me. Ah, oh, thanks, bro. All right, Maggie. Well, do you know this is not what forgiven me? Uh, what's she asking me? Well, she's asking you what is forgiven. Oh, well, forgiven, Maggie, is that when someone apologizes to you, and then you have to forgive them. That means saying sorry to them back. Oh. Hey, Stan. Oh, good for you, Maggie. Right, now, go and forgive Bort. Oh, hello, Maggie. Uh, and I suppose you're going to forgive me too. Oh, and I already apologised to your big sister. Don't worry. I have now changed, but I don't think you'll be able to see me because I am grounded. Body. Oh, look, I got to kiss the Maggie. Me. Oh, my goodness. Well, I didn't know Maggie's kiss could be that, um, uh, if have much effect. Well, Maggie, well, well done for forgiving him. Well, I think you deserve a kiss from me, too. Me. Mm. Alright, I'll, I'll probably put you back with, um, Ben, then. There you are, Maggie. Yeah, I guess that means thank you. Alright, then, you two, three. Well, I think that Bort has apologised to you. Yeah, and... Well, Lisa, uh, have you forgiven him already? Yeah, of course I have. Oh, I think Bud is so cute. Only when he's changed, of course. Yeah, I suppose. And he's done pretty good. All right, then, you, Lisa. Ooh, so I see you're with Ben and Maggie. Well, that means Ben is the ladies' man. Yep, he's the ladies' man. And he's always happy. Oh, I love you, Benny. Oh, uh, give him a kiss too, Maggie. <laughs> oh, I think Maggie and Lisa are going to... Well, what are they doing to me? Well, I think they're just uh, touching your pretty little face. Oh, gosh. Oh, ladies, ladies. If you really must grow for me, please, a little soft. Now, Harley. Mm. Well, goodbye, everybody. She so. Bye bye to me, Lisa. Right, now let's see how we're doing for Bort Basson. Oh, uh, Andy, uh, I think Bort has already apologised to Lisa. Oh, okay. Oh, hello again, everybody. Oh, and uh, don't worry about Bort. Uh, I heard he's already apologised to his. Uh. Oh, yeah, he already apologised to Lisa. Well, I better, better see to him. All right, then, Bort. Right, I'm still here. So, have you got anything to say? Uh, yes, Dad. All right, then, Dad. Well, I've already made a promise now. Oh, and I've already apologised to Lisa and to everyone else. And yes, including my brother and Maggie. Oh, and he gave me a kiss, too. Look. Ooh. Well, good for you, son. Well, I knew Maggie still loves you. Well, anyway, Sport. Now, remember this. You're still grounded with no video games, but we can, but you and I can still go out for some frosty chocolate milkshakes. Yay! Well, I know you don't love me, though. But I still love you most of the time. And I think it was partly my fault. Oh, I'm still regretting. Mm. Uh, don't worry about that, son. It's all in the past now. Let's forget about it. Uh, let's go out for some frosty milkshakes. Alright then, Dad. Okay. Well, goodbye, everybody. See you soon. Bye. Oh, uh, goodbye to me, Bed, Bored, Bored, Bess. What a fuse. What a glad the board has been apologized to Lisa Simpson now. Yeah. Mm. And for once, well, I didn't even rent Lisa's birthday this time. 
Yeah, I wouldn't even want to do that anyway. Hmm. And mind you, at, at least Maggie isn't here to slobber me. Huh? Uh, uh, oh, no. You're not going to slobber me, are you? Oh, good. Go on, then. Oh, I love hugs from Maggie. <laughs> and I suppose she says she is now. Oh, Maggie! <laughs> oh, great. First bot, then Lisa, and now Maggie. Great. Now I know what a cartoon I looks like. Alright, then. Uh, do you know what, Maggie? If you get off the camera, then I'll give you a kiss. The end. Yuck. Well then, everybody. That's all, folks. That's for the listening. Hello everybody, and welcome to the fourth episode of the sixth series of The Bastions. Oh, and don't worry everybody, I'm outside of a garden today. You know, it's just to get away from botch bad behaviour for a bit. And today, I'm just going to have a look at this shed in the garden. Ooh, and I heard that this shed has never been used before. Ah, now I see there's some really bits out there. Oh, and it says, no food waste, no recycling, and no garden waste. Oh. I see. And I see it also says, I'm on a no food waste diet. Thanks. Hmm, well, I may be a no food waste diet because I eat vegetables and lots of it, which boards should have been ate. Now, let's have a look. Yeah, I see that's, an, that's a shed over here. Uh oh, and I see it requires a key just to go in. Hmm, I think we'll get someone to open the door for me and to unlock it. Uh, can you do that for me, Titus? Oh, yeah, with pleasure, Andy. Oh, and here's your wife now, and I'm sure she'll say hello to you. All right. Hello, Andy. Oh, hello, Barbara. Well, you never guess what we're going to go into. We're going into this, we're going into a strange shed. Ooh, I love going onto strange shed. Yeah, me too, Barbara. All right, you two. Well, I've already just unlocked the door now. Ah, thank you very much, Titus. Well, Barbara, we can go in now. Yeah, okay. Let's go and have a look inside. All right, Barbara. Right, let's go and have a look. Ah, where are we then, Barbara? Well, I take that this is the strangest shed that we got. Uh, yeah. Hmm. This would have been a great bear cave in here. Oh, and he's got a fridge in there. Hmm, probably useful for forging the food. Yep. Tell me about it, Barbara. Yeah, indeed. Now, I wonder where we're going to sit, first of all. Ah, here will be fine. Okay, I'll sit here first, Barbara, and you can sit next to me. Okay, Andy. Mm. Well, Andy, it's so really fun to be in here, isn't it? Yep, indeed, Barbara. Yeah, because I just needed some time away from Bort. You know what he's like. I know, Andy, but I love you. Yeah, I love you too, Barbara. Yeah, anyway, let's kiss each other. Why not? You lie down first of all. Okay. Oh, yeah, but can't they be sexy? Yeah, you're too right, I am. For now, I'm gonna do it. Yippee! <laughs> well, share the minute, everybody. Uh, uh.
Uh, I keep up in the shed. <laughs> so, Barbara, how was it? It's good. Ah, oh, lovely Barbara, Barbara. All right, I'll get you off now. Um. Hi, right, Andy. Sit next to me, Andy. Andy. All right. Oh. Yeah. Well, I'm so glad I like this some strange shed. Now, uh, next time, uh, if our home is in danger, probably in a Bessons movie, in the future, I think that this is the only place that we'll ever live. Well, just until we go, just until we save the world. Yeah, I guess so, Andy. But I know you would never do anything nasty. Or something if it is your fault, like Homer for when he just dumped that piece silo uh, probably in the lake. Oh uh, yeah, Homer, the dumbest father. Yeah, I knew that. Well, don't you worry, Barbara. I would never do that. Oh, that's good to hear, Andy. Ah, now see that over there, Rob, Barbara? Yeah? That is the lawn mower. Oh, I see. What else have we got in here? Uh, I believe we got some trowels and some garden fox. Oh, and I think there's some gloves in here. Oh, what, you mean like this, Andy? Ah! What, you mean like this? Ah! Oh! Who hit me with this glove? Ah! Oh, and I think these are gardening gloves. Oh, I see. Uh, what are you going to use it on? Uh, well, basically to slap at the dice. Oh, Sinister! The dice are to slap me with it! Well, you better do it. You better not do that. Oh, yes, I will, Barbara. Just you watch me. All right, then, Dieters, I got me glove for me hand, and I'm going to slap you with it. Oh, oh what are you doing, Andy? Oh, oh. oh, that is even more worse than his smelly paws. Smelly paws? How dare you? I haven't got a smelly paw. Oh, well, I think you are. <laughs> you are stinky winky. That's what you are. Andy, oh, the telly tubby. That Barbara's the telly tubby. I can cut it out, you. Oh, what the hell Ben's doing with me, sir? Well, I expect that they're out in a garden, playing a game together, as, well, usual. All right, Andy. See you later, everybody. Meanwhile, for Ben and Lisa later. All right, everybody. Well, I don't know about you, viewers. Well, me and Lisa are outside today. Yeah, because we need to get some fresh air. And I also heard that my mum and dad are in this strange shed or something. Oh, yeah, well, I just didn't know that, Benny. Right, let's go see your mum and dad then. Okay. Oh, oh no, Queen. Oh, sounds like someone's up at the door. Who is it? Uh, it's me, Bad, your son. I'm Lisa here. Oh, okay. What's the password? Um, vegetables. Correct. Go on in. Thank you. Oh, hello, Dad. What are you two doing in here? Well, then, uh, Ben, come and shut one up and I'll explain. Oh, uh, Lisa, you can be with Bob. Okay, Andy. Mm. Right, come and shut one up, uh, Ben. So, you see, boy, uh, the reason why I'm in here, though, well, I just need some time just to get away from Bob's bad behaviour. Um, it's not because of me, is it, Andy? I mean, Dad? No, Ben. It's nothing to do with you, son. No, of course not. That's why I only need some time away from Bob for a while. Oh, what? Is it just to betray your confidence? Yes, indeed, my son. Indeed. Oh. So, so what were you two talking about exactly? Well, good question, Ben. Well, thank goodness that we got one sensible person. And I know it's you and Bet Leisha there. Yeah, thanks, Dad. So, is this a, a strange shed? Uh, yes, Ben. Indeed it is, my friend. Yeah, because what I didn't know, that actually we do have a fridge in the shed. Woo! Well, that'd be good for the next time if we got some emergency drinks. Yep. Tell me about it, that Ben. Indeed. Oh, okay. So, but Dad, um, so, what do we do um, if, our, if our home is in danger? And if someone polluted, if someone is wrecking the house? Ah, uh, well, I expect that we evacuate immediately. Oh, what well, is this for the future, Dad? 
Yeah, for the future, uh, son. Besides, we need to be prepared. You know, if we're going to be in a Bashes movie in the future, and I'm sure that we can all can. Oh, okay, Dad. Dad. I think we'll remember that. What we leash? Yeah, it could be real funny. Well, and I'll probably be a bit, bit scared too. Yeah, but I will be, but I will be here for you when I'm older. Okie dokie. So, so you, so you see now, Ben, that's the reason why I had to spend some time away from Bort. Yeah, okay, Dad. I knew that. Well, I hope he's not going to break any houses, I hope. No, Ben, of course not. That's why I always be there to stop him. Yeah, good for you, Dad. So, should we go home now, Dad? I mean, it is getting a bit chilly in here. Ah, uh, good idea, son. Hey, well, you and Lisa can go back home first, and me and Barbara will just go home. Okay, come on, Dad, my Bob, lovely Lisa. Let's go home. Okay, Benny. Mm. Well, see you the next episode, everybody. See you later. Yeah, see you later, you two. Yeah, see you later, son. See you later, son. And see you later, Lisa. Well, I think we'll go home to you, Andy. All right. Bye-bye, everybody. See you in the next episode. Bye-bye. Right, don't worry, Barbara. I'm coming. See you next time, everybody. Bye-bye. And off they go home now. And I suppose I better get on home, too. <laughs> right, before I do this, I'm going to lock the director in here. <laughs> Hey, Duchess? Uh, yeah? Goodbye, Dopey. Oh, oh, oh! 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 Andy! I'll get you for this! Oh, how am I supposed to get out of here? Help me! Help me, somebody! Help! Oh, that's it. I give up. The end. Oh, what's happened here? Oh, don't worry. 
Be careful. Okay. Come on, Bob. Let's get fake those evil good doers. Come on. Bunny. Hello. Oh, hi, Miss. What are you playing, Bunny Boy? Well, I played the Simpsons Okay game. Oh, are you? Uh, yes, I have. Surprised. Okay. Shit out of your Alright then, Ben. Right. I got it now. So uh, this is what it looks like. Oh! What's this? I think it's just take. Oh, I remember now. Because that was for my memories with Lisa. Yeah, but also, this is The Turning Point by starring Shirley MacLaine and Ben and Bancroft. Ooh, that would be good for my darling to watch. Yeah, tell me about it, but Ben, well, why don't you show that to her? Well, if she knows about videotapes, yeah, I suppose I will. Um, Lisa, honey, I'm just, I'm just messing with you. Look, it's okay, Lisa. Look, I got over my plan. Ta-da! <laughs> you and me, watching the ballet film called The Turning Point. And it's story should have been and have Ban Bancroft. Come and look. Well, all right. Ah, the turning point. It should have been and have Bancroft. Ooh, now that's my type of film. Oh, I love ballet. Oh, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. Oh, Benny. Oh, you're so sweet. See you later, darling. Well, if you well, I guess that if I'm going to watch a ballet with my darling tonight, well, I need to stop acting like a child. And to become a man. Oh, and also to, to find out where I can get my new brain so that I can stay like this forever. But first... <coughs> That's better. Well, I think I better need to see a doctor right away. Wait a minute. That's uh, so with me. Oh, uh, of course, I'll put the video tape away. Uh, don't worry, Fierce. I'll put that in the Fierce recorder later. Or unless the bank can do it by himself. Then he can. Alright, if you're a shwat, I'm just looking for a doctor now. Hmm. And I wonder where, it could, where the doctor could be. Hey, Mr. Stranger, I'm down here. Oh, oh, is that you? Yes, it's me up then. Come on in. Okay. Sit up here. Oh, hello everyone. Now, you probably remember me as Uncle George. Well, I'm not an uncle today. Oh no. I am the doctor. The doctor for curing the brains once and for all. And I also heard that a Ben wants to have a little date with Lisa. Because I heard that she's having her um, anniversary with Ben. Hmm. I'd better go and get him now. All right, Ben. Come on in, uh, friend. Hello, Doctor. Oh, hello, Ben. Well, nice to see you. So, what can I do for you today? Well, I just need to get my brain swapped so that I can get ready for my date with Lisa. Ooh, sounds good to you. Sounds good to me, uh, Ben. And plus, I think we got one monster here. What? Monster? Wait a minute. You're not going to tell me to a monster, are you? 
Well, I'm afraid so, because if you want to be a manly monster, you need to act like one. Oh no, I made a mistake. I'm out of the... Uh, come back here, man. Lie down. <laughs> right, and now, let the monster creations come alive. <laughs> I love, I love the scream in the morning. <laughs> what are you gonna do to me? Perfect. Bilious! Bilious, baby! <laughs> Don't worry, uh, little boy. We have a brand new break from there to for you. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, yeah. Bilious! Get off! <laughs> Alright now. Now, let's connect you and Ben here. It's holding hands. <laughs> ah, ah, oh, great. Now holding the monsters up. Right, now that I got you two, prepare for you to get your brains warm. And I'm going to press the button. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I don't feel like my shell, but... Oh, no! I've got my shell! Oh, that crazy gift for a really what? The dark, dark! Look, look, I check my heart of the body! I've got my body for Ah, Wait, wait for me! I, I got you! 
Oh, no, 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 What have you done to yourself? Don't you worry. We'll get your brain back into other body somehow. Yeah, well, we better hope so. Well, and I think um, that great bear was turned into a monster. Well, don't worry, Liz. Back to the rescue. Hold on! Ah! You'll be safe now. I promise you, fair lady. Go get him, then. Shut the stop, Will! Oh well, and I'm gonna fight. Shoot him out. Hello, everyone. I'm here to have a fight against the fish monster here. You'll never get to me. Oh, yes, I can. Just you watch. Hey, what's that over there, first of all? Where? Hey, what's this? Uh, Got you! And you can fall to your doom! Ah. Ouch! Oh yeah, let's fight! <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh. Uh oh! Ah. I wanna whip the oil! Get off me! Oh yeah, well I'm still gonna be you, but I'm still alive. Oh yeah, well I'm going to strangle you! Oh you! Yeah. <laughs> right, use your chest now to get the brain off you! Oh yeah, with pleasure. <laughs> oh, and I'll take yours out too. Uh, uh, uh. There you go, Ben. Right, the brain's back of you. And here's that one for the monster. No, you're 
you're gonna have to grab me and what are you gonna do with that? Missy. Well, I suppose I might have spoiled that Ben put that out open. But see a minute, viewers. Alright, at least right. Now that we got our video recorder as promised, well, I will put it in for you. Oh, thank you. Okay, let me go put it in now. Okay, viewers, right. I got it now, so I'm going to put that in right now. Ah. Right, that's that sort. See a minute. Right, Lisa. Are you ready for the film now? Yeah, I'm going to be ready for the film. I don't know. Okay, let's have a hug as we wait for the film to begin. Okay. Right, and I'll show you the TV for a bit. See you in a minute. And so it begins. This is BBC Two. Now we enter the world of ballet as Anne Bancroft and Shirley MacLaine star and Mikhail Doroshikov. Yes, yeah, okay, Lisa, so right, the film's about to begin. Ooh, I'm looking forward to this. Point. Turn it point. Here we go. Happy anniversary, sweetie. Oh, Benny. You're so romantic. Oh, look at that. Looks like a Ben and Lisa are so adorable on their anniversary. Well, congratulations to you two. Hi, Stardust. Thank you. And as for Bill the Monster... Ah! 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 Oh, my I'll get you up. Ah! Well then, Billy, it's not I've heard that you were a monster. Ah. Well, tell you what, if you don't want to be with Lisa anymore, get out of here! Ah, ouch! Well, I'm going to say goodbye, everybody. Bye-bye, everyone. Bye! Me.
Welcome to another episode of this series of the Bear Sons. Now, you're probably wondering, what am I doing today? Well, I can tell you, because I was just getting the bed all made, ready for us bears to have a good night's sleep. You know something, when I sometimes get bad sleeps, yeah, because sometimes bears do get uncomfy, well, Obviously, we do our best to get some good night's sleep. Oh, and as for Boar, well, he always sleeps very noisily. And then sometimes, when you have to wake up in the morning to go to work, things can get turned out to be a bad day. Hmm, do you have bad days like that? Well, obviously, sometimes you do, and sometimes you don't. Well, you know what they say. Monkey do, monkey don't. And are you a monkey of, of that? Well, if not, guess what? I have got a good day plan because everything is going to be all sunshiny and I feel great! Hmm, <laughs> I wonder how we're doing that for the Simpson sisters of Bats. Hmm, well, let's go and have a look, then, shall we? Well, well, when I say that I'm going to have a good day, yeah, but it's not so for these Simpson sisters, however. Hmm, I wonder what can the matter be? Oh, oh Maggie, I've been so long. Me too. Me too. Uh, why do you keep saying that? Well, I'll be she's because of the oh, Puppet's one thing, I'm sure. That is my cute dad. Yeah. We don't kill it first, Maggie. Uh, me? What? Why are we crying? Oh, why are we crying? Well, because we just are dead. Dead! Oh, it's okay, ladies. Don't panic. Dead boys here. Come in. Oh, hello, everyone. Oh, well, what's going on, Titus? Uh, well, you see, up there, because I'm afraid that, uh, your Simpson sisters are crying about something. Oh yeah, but that's because of the real fun. Oh dear, I feel sorry to hear that. Uh, so you two, why are you two crying? You might get this so dead. Oh, I understand. Yeah, it's just because we had a chat the last time, didn't we? Oh, uh, my daddy. Me, me. I suppose that means me too. Oh, it's all right, you two. It's okay. Betty boy's here for all both of you. Come on, Tatisa, honey. Let's just go and have a nice cuddle together. Oh, sorry. Right, let me have a cuddle first, baby. Okay. Yeah, come on, Tatisa, honey. Come here, baby girl. that you missed your dad. Yeah, it's probably because of Father's Day last time. Yeah. Oh, it's all right. It's okay. You got me now. And don't worry about your father. Well, I'm sure that he'll probably give you a ring soon. You think so? <coughs> yeah, of course, my lady. Anything for you. And Maggie too. Tell you what, how about if we get my dad to cuddle Maggie? Okay. Alright. Uh, dad, I think we've got a big problem with 
Buggy because she's crying about the Homer. Oh, all right, Ben. I right, don't panic. I'm coming. All right, here I am, Ben. Uh, wh where's Maggie? Um, she's quite on that, on that bed, Dad, because I'm just supporting her. Oh, I feel sorry to hear that. Yeah, me too, Dad. Go and just get Maggie to have a cuddle. All right. Well, share a minute, everybody wants to go and get Maggie. <laughs> oh, and see with me. And don't worry. I think that we'll probably go and watch a film called Keep Our Fatties as Promised. Come on, my fair lady. Let's go. Let's go watch a film together. Oh, it's all right, my honey pie. I think we'll probably go watch a film as promised. And so, I wonder how we're doing for Andy cuddling up to Maggie. All right, everybody. Now, don't you worry about Maggie. Yeah, she's just crying a bit at the moment. I mean, it is very understandable because, obviously... I don't think Lisa and Maggie has ever seen her their fathers for quite a while. Not even for a long time since they started the show. Oh, I understand that now. Oh, it's probably because Ben's big mouth. Uh, uh Dee, be quiet, you. Sorry. Ah, oh, it's okay, Maggie. It's all right. I understand that you, you and Lisa miss your dad. I understand now. And don't worry, you can still call me daddy if you want if you want to. Uh, what's she saying? Well I think she's saying that the uh, it's not the same about her real father. Oh. I see. <coughs> it's alright, Maggie. It's okay. <laughs> no need to cry. Just cheer up. Please, I, it's terrible seeing you like this. Can't you give me a little smile? No? Why? Daddy. Oh, uh, yes, I, I know I was your dad. But you can still call me daddy as long as you need to. Okay. Um. Sorry for Maggie crying. That's all right. Well, let me do something to you. I'd always cheer you up. Right, right. Mm. All right. Well. Mm. Who's going to be a lovely girl? Mm. Who's going to be lovely? Daddy, mm. <laughs> daddy. Ah, well, I'm glad she's cheered up. Well, Maggie, there you are. Well, you're all cheered up now. Now, how about Maggie? Why not? Just dry your little tears. Come on now. Shh, it's all right. Oh, let me just sort your bow. Oh, it's all right, honey. I'll, I'll do it. There you are, Maggie. I've sorted your bow out for you. Yeah, I guess that means thank you. <coughs> thank you, Daddy. You're very welcome. Yeah, and I know you're shy about that. You are upset. Yeah, you do miss your father, don't you? Thank you, Lisa. Ah, yeah, I know. Well, hmm, I sure hope that Lisa will be all right. Uh, what do you think, Maggie? Thank you. Yeah, I guess that means I hope so, too. Yeah, well, you know what? We both hope so. So, anyways, Maggie, so, shall we watch the happy little elf, then, just to help you cheer up? Take that as a yes. Well, share a minute, everybody. Ouch. <laughs> well, I can't believe Andy Dandy is being run over by a baby. <laughs> well, that Maggie could have been the car. <laughs> oh, no. What have I ever done to say that? Maggie, get off. <laughs> No, I don't want Maggie's dog's taste. It tastes of yuck. <laughs> well, Andy, I can't believe you got run over. <laughs> oh! End of part one. <laughs> All right, Maggie. Now, don't worry. We got this one to put on. It's 
the happy little elves. Yay! Love you, Daddy. Yeah, I love you too, Jack Max. Right, let's go watch it, shall we? Oh, and don't worry about your big sister. She'll be okay, too. Okay. Well, enjoy it then. Well, Maggie, I've heard that you loved happy little elves, didn't you? Yeah. Woo. Uh, yeah, well, that's good. So that's the one. Oh, so who on earth is that? Uh, I think she's say Malibu Stacy. Oh, well, I didn't know they had Malibu Stacy there. Hmm. Uh, Dad, uh, could you bring Lisa for a minute? Oh, yeah, sure, they Dad. Oh, I was only walking to film with my lady. Oh, all right. Well, bring her over here, then, just for the time being. Okay, Dad. It's okay, my lady. I'm just going to be with you. Hello, Dad. Oh, hello, son. Uh, how's Lisa? Oh, I think she's okay now. Don't worry. Oh, so, what are you and Baggy watching, by the way? Happy Little Elves. Oh, I see. So, Lisa, do you used to watch Happy Little Elves? Yes, I did used to watch it when I was little. Oh, good. Well, this is the big one. Let's all watch it. Yeah, good idea. Well, I guess that you and that Maggie have cheered up now, Lisa. Yeah, but good, because... Because I'm going to have to get up the fact that I miss my dad, but I'll remember it too. Ah, oh, good to hear. Uh, what about you, Maggie? <laughs> yeah, that's good. Oh, so that's what that Pabby the Loaf was doing. Kissing Malibu Stacy. Oh, I get it. Oh, and I shall leave you with this bit. The end, and I know it's not the end of the program yet. That was just still going anyway. All right, then, you four. Right, I think that's enough now. Uh, uh, Lisa, um, are you cheered up now? Yeah, I'm cheered up now. Oh, thanks to my penny. Oh, thank you, Lisa. Yeah, I knew you'd like some. I knew you'd cheer up one day. And don't you worry about that at the end, because we've already watched the film called Cubo Fatty. Yeah, I know, Benny. Do you still love me? Yeah, of course I do, Leash. You're still my girl. Oh, yeah, and Maggie, too. Mm. All right, then, Ben. Um, shall we just have relax now? Sure. Okay. So, see you in a minute, everybody. Like, right, follow me, Benny. Okay. See you later, everybody. See you later, Dad. Yeah, see you later, son. Uh, Maggie, uh, would you like to join Ben now, see that you've cheered up now? <laughs> yeah, alright. Well, bye-bye, Maggie. Bye-bye. Daddy. Okay. Alright, buddy. Don't worry. I think I've cheered everyone up now. Uh, oh, and don't worry about Lisa and Maggie. They feel, they felt better now. Oh, and of course, I thought, um... Because the, uh, we're going to have a certain visitor. Hmm, and I wonder who the visitor is. Well, I believe it'll be, uh, Boo Boo. Boo Boo? Ah, oh, you mean the one I've met in before? Uh, yes. Oh, alright. Well, I must well just go and have a sit down then. Hmm, and I wonder if both will be coming too. Well, we'll have to wait and see, uh, first of all. Alright. I'm well, looking forward to having the visitor's round. Hmm. Someone's at the door. Uh, come in. Here I am. Oh, oh, oh hello, Boo Boo. Well, it's good to see you again. Do you remember me? Yeah, of course I remember you. Yeah, and I also remember meeting Lisa from before. The one that she saved me before. Oh, I didn't know that. Well, was she an animal rescuer? Yes, she was. You know. As a vet. Oh, I see. Well, good to have you back in with us again. Yeah, thank you. Oh, uh, just to let you know, um, my friend uh, Fudge is also like a water engineer. Uh, water engineer? Ooh! Well, that's one thing that we could solve that problem. Uh, between you and me, Bo Boo Boo, we're just having a bit of problem with our water bill. Uh, it's probably because of pipes. Oh, really? Uh, which ones? Uh, 
that's probably the bathroom. Ooh, the bathroom. Oh, oh, I see. Well, anyways, uh, if you must know, uh, Fudge will be here momentarily. All right. Well, well, why don't you come in and have a nice cuddle with Lisa? Uh, I also heard that you love Lisa as well as Bad does. Uh, yes, but don't worry. I'm not going to touch her. I just want to cuddle from her. Oh, well, okay. Well, go enjoy Bad then. Okay. Well, see you in a minute, everybody. Yay! Well, and I wonder if Fudge will probably join it too. Oh, sounds like there's another knock. Well, come on in. <laughs> oh, hello, Fudge. Oh, hello, Fudge. <laughs> nice to see you again. I heard that you're a water engineer. Yeah, that's right, because I am fed up with same old water. <laughs> same old water? Uh, don't you mean the crystal clear water? Uh, yes, that's right, because... I fix water because I'm just trying to improve with new flavours. <coughs> new flavours? But we like our water normal. Ah, uh, well, you might like the water that is normal. But, however, though, um, I do have a happen to have a jug of water around here somewhere. Uh, I'm going to go and get it. Be back in a minute. All right. Uh, well, I don't know what fudge was on about. Hmm, but whatever it is, hmm, different water would be a bit of a nice change. Of course. All right, Andy. Well, I got the jug of water, and it's just over there. Ah, well, good. So anyway, uh, what are you going to use the jug of water on? Well, not uh, you're not going to pour it on me, I hope. No, of course not. I'm just going to give you a demonstration on how the water, why was water was so boring. Oh, I see. Ooh, I think Ben and I would be interested. Uh, ben, could you come here, please, Sean? All right, Dad, come in. Here I am. Ah, oh, good to have you here, son. Oh, do you remember B -B Fudge and Boo Boo? Oh, yes, I remember Fudge. Because he was so, he was like a good bear. Ah, uh, yeah, I know, son. Yeah, that's why he's going to show us on how water works. Oh, goody. Education. Ah, uh, yeah, of course it is. All right, then. Right, and I'm sure the doctor can sort this out. Yeah, because I've only got paws, you know. Oh, all right. All right, I just show, just get, do that for fudge. Oh, with pleasure, uh, Andy. All right, you two. Right, here it is, the jug of water. Ooh, jug of water. Uh, so how why does water become so boring? Well, you see, that's the problem, you see. Because the water is so boring, because it never felt gloopy or even uh, wobbles like jelly. Now, and what the what happens for when the dog to pause it? What did you do that for, Fudge? Ah, well, you see, but, uh, Andy, well, because you see, if the, every time when the water gets spilled, because otherwise it would be like a swimming pool, doesn't it? Oh, uh, yeah, that's kind of true. Ah, oh, but look what you've done to my bed! Oh, I just got to clean this morning! Sorry. That's okay. Well, you're only doing it as a demonstration. Yep. Oh, and of course, um, if the water is splodged onto me, and if it doesn't stick very well, look what happens when it does. See? Oh, well, I'm dying. I, 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 uh, shush, 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 now. Now, I think um, it's going to be a water spillage uh, just on, over me head. All right. Okay. Ready, Dieters? Yep, ready. Right, okay. Right. One. Yes. Two. Yes. Three. <laughs> Woohoo! Now, do you see what happens, Andy, for when water gets so boring and pointless? Uh, yes. I, I see what you mean. Well, we already are a wet blanket now. Ah, but that's because I love water. Yeah, but at water, it was too boring. It's just probably the same old thing. What I want is a new type of water. <coughs> new type of water? New type of water? Uh, Fudge, come here for it. Uh, yeah, 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 sure. Right, I'm coming, Andy. Okay, come here. Uh, the reason why I want a new kind of water, I just want to make it interesting. It's a new kind of water. Ooh, well. A new. 
Ooh. Yeah, a new kind of water. Ooh. All right, everybody. Now, don't worry about me. I'm just going to bring some new type of water. And this time it's going to be cream flavored water. And hopefully, Fudge will like it. Oh, so you're going to make a cream flavored water, are you? Yes. Oh, okay. So, what are you going to put? This stuff. Oh, all right. Well, be careful then. Oh, I will. Right, I'll give it a good squeeze. Yeah. Right, um, I haven't got anything to stir. Um, have we got anything to stir with? Uh, well, I'm sure I've got some plenty. Now, just bear with me. Um, I think I'm going to use that. All right, uh, I'll do it for you, Ben. Uh, do you what? You can do it yourself. Oh, all right. Ooh, I get to use this. Here. Right, here we go. Oh, well done, Ben. See, you're doing very well. Thank you. Hmm, I wonder how my dad's doing with a new type of water. Well, let's find out, shall we? Yeah, all right. Woohoo! All right, everybody. Now, don't you worry about me. Well, I think Fudge has already kindly just donated me a rest of the water on the jug. Because I'm going to make frozen water. Oh, and the only way to do that is probably just using my magic paws to make it, make the water frozen. Abracadabra, Alakazam, make the water froze. Right, there we are. That's all sorted. Now, I know it's cheating sometimes when do magic tricks do go wrong sometimes. And the only way to find out, hopefully, nothing can go wrong. Now, if I do this, ah, uh, uh, <coughs> oh dear, that did not work. Uh, <coughs> yuck! All right, the viewers. I wonder how Lisa Simpson is going to be making a new type of work because I think she heard about it for what um Auntie and Ben said. Well, let's see. Doop, doo, 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 doo. Hmm, where are the jump? And his feet. Doo, 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 doo. Uh, so, Lisa, uh, what are you doing? Well, I was just pouring some cream soda on here. Because I'm making fizzy water. Oh, fizzy water, eh? Yep, of I am. Well, okay. Well, suit yourself. Okay. Okay, last ingredient is toothpaste. Here we are. That's all. I'm about to give it a stir. I thought, yeah, I'm just not very good at making frozen water. Well, I guess I'm going to lose. That's for sure. That's all right. I'm sure that Ben and these have got on well with their own special water. Hmm. I think I'll just let the kids do that themselves. Oh, and of course, uh, whilst I do that, I might as well just, might as well have some cream soda. Ooh, geez, I am very thirsty. Okay. Right, I better put that down. That's better. Oh, and I better tell Fudge that I'm not very good at frozen water. Well, I better be over here first. All right, Fudge. Uh, come over here now. Oh, all right, uh, uh, man. Coming. Well, he'll be with you in a minute, Fudge. Promise. Hello again. Oh, hello, Fudge. Uh, how do you get not making a frozen water? Uh, well, not really well, I don't think. Yeah, because I don't think the frozen water works out well. Yeah, because otherwise, hmm, the frozen water would have been blocked in the pipes. Oh, yeah. Well, 
I was afraid to say, Andy, but I'm afraid you've wasted one pound from of your water bill. <laughs> Excuse me! I have not wasted a pound of just water. Not because it's all water in the watering, it does water in the garden and water in the bathroom, unless there's. Unless there's a water set for other people. <laughs> water set. You're wasting two pounds for that. Oh, will you give it a first? Sorry, but, but Andy, that's all right. Oh, and don't worry about the other kids. Uh, I think uh, Ben is making cream-flavoured water, and Lisa's got some sticky, fizzy water. Ooh, well, that's one thing I would have loved to have a try. Oh, uh, yeah, I suppose so. Right, come and sit next to me for a minute. All right. Uh, oh. So, Andy, uh, let me get this straight. So, you can't create frozen water because uh, the water that was from left over from a jug is not really frozen. <sighs> no, Fudge. Of course not. Oh. Yeah, well, I feel sorry to hear that. Yeah, I agree. See you in a minute, everybody, for when Ben and Lisa brings their special type of water for Fudge to be shut. Who <laughs> shut? All right, then, Sam. All right. Have you got some water for us to try? Uh, yes, Dad, but it's only for Fudge to try. All right, bring it over here. Here it is, Dad. This is my sticky water. Also known as the cream flavored one. Ooh, well, that is impressive, Ben. Yeah, thank you, Dad. Would you like to have a try on Fudge? Oh, well, I'll go on then. Yeah, just pass it to me. All right, there you are. Uh, what's the matter, Fudge? I've got crap in my mouth! I'm going to spit it out somewhere! <coughs> Fudge! Sorry. That's alright. You shouldn't have spit it all over me! Sorry, man. That's okay. I understand. All right. Um, I think we'll try Lisa's next. Uh, Dad, do you think you can get Lisa now? Oh yeah, sure. Uh, Lisa, I think uh, my dad wants you to show my dad a fudge here the new water you got. Okay, Danny. See you in a minute. Right, and I suppose I'll have to do that. Right, there we are. Nice fizzy water. All right, Lisa. Right, Dad needs you. Okay. Oh, here it is, Fudgy. Here's some fizzy water. Ooh, wow. This is fantastic. I love this new type of water. Give me a try. Okay. Go, 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 go. Ooh, fizzy. Ah, well, that was nice. Oh, glad you like it. Uh-oh. Uh -oh. Uh, what's wrong, Lace? Oh, no. Don't tell me that the jug is shaking. Uh, yeah, I'm afraid so. It's because of those b b bubbles, and it might could explode. Oh no! And the last thing I tried was cream soda. <laughs> cream soda? Uh, no, 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 no! You got the point there. I mean, cream soda in the fizzy water is fantastic. Mm, I want some more. Oh dear! I'm going to take up. Uh, is it okay if I cuddle you? Uh, yeah, sure. All right. Uh, Dad, you can join it too. Oh, all right, Dad. Ooh. It's all right, but boys, there's nothing to be afraid of. I mean, I think Fudge will probably get wet, more than likely. No, 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 it's okay. Well, it's only the first that just did it. It's fantastic, you know. Uh, so, anyway, Fudge, um, I think the fishy water is probably coming right above the head, which is over there. Oh, really? Oh, well, I better go and have a look. Hmm. Well, see about everybody when this happens. Alright, Fat. Alright, you freak now. Don't worry. I'm over here, so it's just to keep you all safe. Uh, okay. Well, you might want to be careful, though. Uh, why is that? Because I'm afraid that water is going to be splodged right above your head. Ready? Where? Up above. Huh? Uh-oh. <gasps> Oh, my goodness! Oh, dear, fuck. Are you all right? <laughs> yes, yes, I'm all right. Oh, this is so good. 
Wow, I can't hear it, John. I better think of it. Not the tongue. Up there, how'd you get up with the frozen water? How am I getting up? Yes. Well, it didn't go so well, Fudge. Mm, but I think the fishy water is probably the best. Oh, thanks to Lisa. Well, thank you, Andy. Well, then, Fudge. Oh, dear. It seems to me that you're all, all, all wet. <laughs> oh, that's okay. I don't mind. I mean, besides, there's nothing wrong with it, though. Ah, well, then. Well, if you love water so much, well, I'm sure that man can give you more cream water. Uh, well, what do you mean? All right, then, Ben. Show me. Show him what you could do. Oh, okay. Uh, what do you want me to do with this? Uh, I recommend pour it all over it. I, I don't think that's a good idea, Dad. Oh, go on, Ben. I just enjoyed that. Oh, okay. All right, then, Bodge. Well, if you want some more water, there you go. <laughs> oh, yay. Oh, I kind of like it. <laughs> yeah, of course you do. Woohoo. <laughs> Oh, this is so much fun! Ooh. Oh, I can't wait to keep this up all day! Oh, shut up, you... <laughs> oh, that's nice! <laughs> oh, everybody, yeah, don't worry about fudge. I think you'll be able to be nice and dry. Ugh, look at that mess I've just caught. Sorry, Dad. Ah, oh, that's all right. Yeah, that's what you were meant to do anyway. Oh, good. Well, I'd better take this over to the bathroom so we can be clean. See you later, Dad. Yeah, see you later, son. And make sure it's wet, wiped and dry. Okay. All right, everybody. Now, don't worry. I'm going to take this water over to the bathroom so it can be clean again. Come with me. Oh, well, you must have been all wet then. Yeah. 
Oh, but don't you worry. Uh, I'm sure there's a nice surprise for you under the towel. Oh, yeah. Ooh, show me. Oh, all right. I will. Come with me, then. All right. Share with everybody. Yeah, stay with me. All right, then, Pancho. What did you want to show me? Ah, I think there might be some water under there. Oh, really? Well, I can't see anything. Right. Hey, Andy, I'm going to get you his payback. What? What do you think? Uh, do you remember that you promised that you were supposed to 
see the Simpson slope with Lisa. Oh, yeah, I remember now. No, I forgot about that. Oh, that's all right. Well, today is just big treat, because you and Lisa gets to see the Simpson slope. Uh, that's because of the Simpson slide. Oh, I see. Um, is this the end of a film? Oh, yeah, that's the one I've already watched with Lisa earlier. Oh, well, well, you'll have to have a look at, at this then. Right, and I shall leave you with a TV fix for a bit. Oh, well, I get it. So this film is about Rome or something. All right, then. Ooh, Ronnie Barker. Now, that's one thing that um, Ernie Paddy would have loved to see. Uh, I take it something to do with porridge. Oh, that's the one that the person's had for porridge. <laughs> Yep, two Ronnies and over all hours. Ooh, what a piece of paper. No. Oh, now here's an extra trailer for something interesting. Uh, you two. Look, there's the little girl announcing there was a program about a film. Ooh, I wonder what it could be. Uh, I believe it's something to do with E.K. Uh, the extra terrestrial. Mm. Now that's the film I'd love to see. Yeah, I guess so. Mm. And I heard that E.T. is like a sad film. Oh, I see. Ah, oh, no, yes, dear. Oh, here we go with the slide. Uh, I'll let you visit with the guitar first. Uh, that was a Simpsons slide. Oh, of course, the Benedict will have a look properly for themselves. But after I rewind it first. Alright, you two, have a look at it in close up. Oh, okay. Oh, can you pause it, though? Oh, sure. I, I promise you, I will. Okay. Well, here we go, my bliss. That's promised. Ooh, I'm looking forward to seeing this. Right, pause it now. Alright, you two. Here you are. Thank you. Where are we, sir? Oh, look. There's you up there. Ooh. And that's me, Maggie. With. Uh, but, and there's Marge and Homer, my, my mum and dad. Oh, I guess it now. Now I know the reason why you missed your family. Yeah, and I think this one over here is Samson and Lopa. Oh, oh, I see. Uh, is that the one that went Bart and your dad rescued him from the, uh, uh what place? Uh, I believe it was the Greyhound Race. Oh, I see. It was from a Greyhound race, wasn't it? <laughs> yeah, and it was magical at Christmas. Ah, oh, cool. Oh, I get it now. Yeah, thank you for showing us that dinosaur. Oh, you're welcome, but uh, yes, you're even more welcome. Thank you. Right, you can get back to the spot now. Alright. <laughs> right, I'll let you have a look at the Simpsons like once more. For the help of a director. <laughs> but don't be what? Oh, shut up, then. All right, well, here we go again. Marge is up for a part in the local musical, a further cause of family strife, no doubt, for the Simpsons, on the E.T. shortly. Well, the E.T. one heads for the palm print beaches of Mauritius again. The second part, four daily visits to the world's strongest man. Oh, did you hear that, you two? I, I think that this program is going to be called The World's Strongest Man. Ooh, now that's sort of a program that I would have loved to get involved in it. Mm -hmm. Would you be the strong man? Yeah, of course I would, Leash. Of course. Anything for my lovely darling. <laughs> yeah. Ah, oh, she sent me out to me. All the shame. Ooh, she got her leg on me leg. Oh yeah. Otherwise, your legs could have been chicken legs. <laughs> chicken legs. Right, and I shall leave you with a clip of it. Oh, Philippa Forrester. Oh, I see. Well, I didn't know she presented the world's strongest man. She was a show presenter of children's BBC in the nineties. Don't. Yeah, well, unfortunately, this is incomplete, but this is all we got, uh, you know, for archive reference. Well, see you then, everybody. All right, then, you two. Right, Lisa, you can get off the flip there now. Oh, all right. Um, oh, I'm doing the
the best life, Benny. We were both of you, my family. Thank you. Oh, you're welcome, Nish. Well, I think I'm getting up to BBC News. Oh, how did you do Right, and I shall leave you this with this. Enjoy. Oh, my goodness. Is that the figure of Dibbly? Well, well, first of all, the figure of Dibbly Bibbly. <laughs> the figure of Dibbly Bibbly. <laughs> Portrait Bat reference when I said that. Ooh, the figure of Dibbly Bibbly Bibbly House. Well, I didn't know they would get released. Oh, the book of a boy's Christmas show. Oh, I bet um, Andy would love to see that one. What do you think, everybody? Uh, anyways, sorry if I had to talk through this life. I'll let you have a look at that if you really want me to. Enjoy yourself. Oh, now that's a very cool drama, that is. And I don't think Bill and Lisa would like to watch it. And it's a good thing we don't have that on a recorded tape. Well, only the trailer is anyway. Right, and I'm just going to fast forward the trailer for the film. Yeah, I don't think Ben and Lisa would understand that film anyway. Well, there we go. That'll do. Alright, you two. Well, enjoyed the BBC News then. Oh, we will. Yeah, we will. Alright you two, well that's the end of BBC News, uh, and I think it was full Christmas day by the way. Oh, okay. Okay. Right, I shall leave you for this with more TV bets. Here we go. Oh, Salisbury. Okay, we'll uh, skip that. Just for a few minutes. Yeah, Salisbury. There we go. Oh, big break. Oh my goodness! Oh, Dad's Army! Oh, that's the one that Andy would have really loved to watch! Well, oh, don't panic, Mr. Medwick! Don't panic! Don't panic! Oh, only fools own ponies! Ah, uh, it's horses, directors! Not ponies! Oh, sorry! I meant only fools own horses! That's better! Oh, the fuck? Oh, that's the one that Ben and Lisa have already seen that trailer earlier. Oh, this is a Friday night one. Oh, Jackie Mason at the London Palladium. Oh, that's interesting. Oh, well, that's it. It was broadcast at midnight. We, uh... Yeah, good line-up, though. Oh, what's this? Glenn, Gary, Clever. Well, I'll leave you the rest of it if you want to. Oh, The Revenge of a Pink Panther. Now, that's what Bill Be Ben at least likes to watch. Best recommended. Yeah, and no Christmas should be complete without Ben Benson at least a simple. What? Uh, <laughs> oh. End of epilogue. <laughs> That's all, folks. That's the end. You're watching GBC One, and I'd like to make it a final announcement. Now, tomorrow morning, we will be having a brand new link to the GBC Network, and it's something to do with the Southwest, which you'll find out probably tomorrow. And so, 
here's my final say, and that will be, this is GBC1, goodbye to GBC1. Darling, four weddings. Here are Rocky, four, five, eighteen. Excuse me, I bought this video from you last Saturday. So? Well, I can't understand a word. Train spotting? Not surprised. I'm talking to you, Scott. Yeah, ain't they? No. I mean, it's the, hey? it's the sound. Yeah. It's hopeless. It's absolutely yeah. hopeless. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No trains in it either. I suppose that's my fault as well. Here are, darling, four ninety-nine. Well, the picture's rubbish as well. Well, that's your tracking, mate. Well, it's all right on my other videos. Ooh. Tracking's touchy. Be careful. Most pirate videos are unwatchable, and there's no comeback. Got a receipt, eh? Got a receipt? Look, you said last week. Said it's no good, mate. Oral contract. Not worth the paper it's printed on. Here are, darling, four weddings. Train spotting. As advertised on Crime Stoppers. Pirate videos, daylight robbery.